All right, guys, we are live. I know it's late night. I'm going to be a little bit quieter, but uh, yeah, welcome to the surprise secret special show. Uh, this is basically the after show for Tenacious Texas Vapes, a.k.a. Stan. Uh, vape Stew, and for those of you that were watching that stream, big shout out to you. Shout out. Sh shout out to you shout guys. <laughs> we are joined today by my good friend, Demo Vapes. What's up, everybody? <laughs> oh, I've got you clicked, so I don't even see myself. There we go. What's up, everybody? Thanks for uh, checking out this live stream here on Daily Vape TV's website. I'm Demo Vapes. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you up. <laughs> oh, good. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. No, nah, so this is basically just a, a hangout, chill out, party, whatever, late night session here for all you night owls out there. So, um, you know, big shout out to you guys for being night owls. I am always up this late. Um, I don't know about you, Demo. Are you? I am the supreme night owl. I so I'm a currencies trader by by job, and uh, that puts me typically my working hours are from 2 a.m. to about 5 or 6 a.m. So I'm typically up till about 6 a.m. and I typically wake up on any given day between 1 and 2 p.m. So that that's that's just how it works. You know, it's uh, it kind of sucks because I get soda, especially I get about two hours of daylight. So it's uh, that's a huge bummer. So real quick, I'm just going to show what I'm drinking on real, uh, real quick here. Uh, some Stone Rippers. Uh, I was drinking on some Peak Organic Winter IPAs, but uh, these are just my go-to. They're so easy to drink. It's just such a good, just classic sort of juice hop IPA, and I absolutely love it. So, uh, And if you guys are on the Untapped app, then add me. My username is Vaping Beer Geek, all one word. Uh, so make sure you add me on there if you are a beer nerd like myself. Uh, Demo, what are you drinking? So I've got this uh, Surly barrel aged. Uh, what is this? Ten. This is a aged in rum barrels, and I'm not. There's no ABV listed on this bottle, but I've already taken a few st sips. And let me say, this is an ale, right? This is an ale, and it is dark so this is and it is strong it's uh it's a it's a beast if you were to guess what would you guess the abv well i would guess anywhere around 10 or 11 percent because it's got a it's got a solid alcohol bite but it's not it doesn't take me over i guess it's got a little ding -a ding on my computer so i don't think i just just you guys can still hear me right i can hear you okay good because i that literally told me a peripheral was being disconnected so i don't know what happened there but just don't unplug your whole computer again <laughs> no uh so yes yeah, so this is this is probably 12 13, 12 to 11 12 percent abv um i'm gonna do a little beer pairing here i've got uh this is a uh, butterscotch cust well butterscotch something like that i got angelo yeah this is uh this is lavender lee she's coming in right now i'm, I'm just gonna I'm, uh, you're presenting, so go ahead oh, here. Okay. Pair it up. Pair it up. Um, I apologize if this is loud, but nerd. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> so I've got some monkey cream, which is like a butterscotch cream, with this like barrel aged rum beer. Oh, it's so good. We got <laughs> we got some dogs going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Angela. I muted you. Oh, geez. I feel bad now. And we have no cam for her either. I, I called her Lavender, too. <laughs> can you still hear me, Demo? I can still hear you. All right. So so go ahead and describe that real quick. Uh, let's see. Which one? Uh, the, the, go ahead and describe the, uh, the beer pairing there. Oh, okay. So it's just it's just the butterscotch and this rum just go so well together because the rum is like a funky Caribbean rum kind of flavor. So like if you've ever drank like Smith and Cross or uh, like Sea Wind or any of these other really crazy funky um, uh, like like Pusser's Pusser's rum stuff like that, um, it's it's very much similar to that very navy strength kind of rum flavor. I get much more rum than I get beer. I get kind of a beer backbone, but it's uh, a beer back. 
It's good though. And what are yeah. you pairing it up with? Uh, monkey cream by uh, the Vaping Monkey. This is uh, monkey cream, and this is a Grim Green special. I heard about this on Grim Green's vlog, and uh, picked it up. And it's weird because the the juice actually sort of feels like you're when you exhale. It feels like you're you like you're like it's like an alcohol heat almost when you're when you're vaping the juice. It's very interesting. If you haven't picked it up, Nick, you should definitely try it because it's pretty uh, it's pretty interesting and unique. I will have to give that a shot. I, 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 I guess I'm not, Angela muted, by the way. I know, I know. I'm, I'm not a fanboy, unfortunately, of, of Nick's. I know, I know you're not. But it is good. It is good. I'll tell you, it is good. It's Fair very enough. sweet. Very sweet. But it's good. All right. Uh, man, now I feel bad because I muted her, and I don't know if she knows she's muted. But there's still no cam or anything, so I'm going to try to see what's up with her. Uh Gotta love these late night streams, man. All right, this is very <laughs> this is very off the cuff. Unlike the last show, which we were just on, which was very uh, regimented by uh, by Stan, which is fine. I mean, I, I'm a fan of of moving along in the main show. Uh, I guess I am too. I mean, it was it was we a bit... dude. We would have gotten stuck on the first topic or the second topic if uh, yeah. if we just kept going. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that there for sure. Like we could have talked about mouth to lung devices for. Good two hours. Salt mix, all the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so. It could just any given topic. We so would have been on for two hours. Here. It's really is awesome drinking a bender right now. Jeff, yes. Awesome. Jeff is a good friend of mine. Jeff is a local friend of mine. And uh he uh he's uh he's a good friend of mine. We play Battlefront 2 a lot together. But yeah, I know him locally. So actually that's a good point there. Uh, so real quick, big shout out to everyone in chat right now. Yes. Uh, you're staying up late or you're up really early, depending on where you're from. Uh, Mike's Mix Reviews, it's 5.30 in the morning where he's at. And he, he was on the stream or my my pre-show pre stream in my group. And then now he's on this. So he basically like went to bed and woke up <laughs> in the time yeah. that we were on the show. Right. That's crazy. So shout Two out boxes. to Mike, Mike's Mex Reviews. Uh, yeah, he's a to you, brother. he's a fellow Savs uh, host. So yeah, make sure you go check his channel out. He's actually a mod on here too, so he can pimp his own channel. Wow. But anyways, um, yeah, I was gonna say. Besides, I'm gonna present you again real quick. Besides, uh, oh, oh yes, oh, there Sorry. he is. All right, all right. So before we do this, real quick, we have. I'm we have Stan in the room. Tenacious TX Vapes, everybody. All right. Pr you're presented right now, so tell everyone who you are and what you do. And uh, yeah. do you like long walks on the beach? I do like long walks on the beach. My name is Stan, and uh, I'm a few beers into this, so pardon me. Um, <laughs> I have a channel called Tenacious TX Vapes on YouTube. You guys should go check it out. Um, currently and most notably designed the Lucid RDA. Just point to your hat. The, the Lucid R... Well, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Lucid RDA and the Dreamer Mod by Times Vape. Boom. Be tenacious. Oh, dude, I just dripped juice everywhere. Um, <laughs> so check us out. Check me out there. Tenacious TX Vapes on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate you. And uh, Facebook. Right on. Well, welcome. I stole it from Nick. Welcome to the show. You're rootin' tootin'. Rootin' tootin', Nick. You're from Texas, so you can get away with that. What's up, Vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's Fresh Build Friday! <laughs> I think oh. Demo is probably... <laughs> Demo is most famous on my channel for his impersonations. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loved that, by the way. Demo, I was going to actually ask you, uh, besides vaping, what are your other hobbies? Um, cars. Uh, I, lo I love cars. Um, I own a Ferrari, which is a thing, and I know a lot of you guys probably just heard that and were like, oh, my God. Um, maybe not, though. Um, I love cars. and um, uh, Well, some people do. You never know, right? Um I love cars. I love food. I love uh, cocktails. I love coffee. Um, I mean, man, like I'm, I'm kind of a serial hobbyist. So what I tend to do is I tend to get into 
hobbies and then they take over my life for six to six to 12 months and then I change hobbies. Um, and a friend of mine asked me why vaping would be any different for me, why I wouldn't just get out of vaping all of a sudden. And I said, well, this is the first hobby I've ever actually, actually been addicted to. So <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's exactly the same kind of situation that I've been in is I'm a huge hobbyist. I'm always into everything. Yep. And my friend is like, oh, if I have any questions about anything, I always call you first because you probably had your hands in some point of it at some time. Sorry. Cut you off. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Demo. Um, yeah, we got a, We actually do have a question for Demo oh, in I'm chat eating, right now. I'm, I'm eating a burger. I know, What's I know. The, What's the question? <laughs> it, 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 they said, what kind of Ferrari? It is a, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> a pretentious one? Cheers. No, sorry. sorry. Well, sorry. it is. Um, it is a, uh, <laughs> right. It is a Ferrari 488. It's a 2017 Ferrari 488. So Great. it's cool, uh, that's awesome. a new one. It's uh, 661 horsepower, three seconds to 60, um, and it's I've had it on the track three times, and it's just an insane beast. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so um, I don't, I'm not I'm not a skydiver. I don't I don't I don't fuck around with that stuff. But um, oh, are we good to swear? By the way, yeah, go go for it. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm an adrenaline junkie, but I'm not a skydiver. I like to be in control of the adrenaline that. Uh, that I'm that I'm dishing out. So, yeah. Answer to your question. Well, there you go. Uh, it's funny that you're like you know a vape reviewer because it's like the least adrenaline inducing thing ever. <laughs> it's just like, all right, guys. So I like this because it's like a really good vape and you get a good cloud off of it. And like here you are, you got Ferrari and you like going fast and. I disagree nice. completely, actually, because every time I get in front of the camera, and it might be just because I'm still new, but every time I get in front of the camera, I get the butterflies. So, um, it's a different kind of adrenaline. Yeah, I mean, it's its own adrenaline in its own right. Um, editing, I hate, but it's uh, you know, it's I'm 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 always down to edit a video, but I would much rather just editing what I like. You, you see, I, be my editor. No, yeah, no I, I I hate it, and it's. Uh, it's it's not that I hate it to the point of like I wouldn't do it, but I, I much prefer these live streams because I can just talk and you know. You know, I, I love, thing. love, love these live streams because I can actually communicate with people. You know, uh Sherlock Holmes says happy holidays. Happy What's holidays. Up, Sherlock? I got some <laughs> of your uh, corrugated frame staple Clapton staggered things and I uh, I have not used them yet because I don't have an RDA. Well, I do, but I don't have an RDA anyway new that I want to put them in. And I want to put them on camera. I want to put them in one of my reviews. So uh, I got to figure out what to review that will fit them. So there you go. You're, you're making it worth their while. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, he didn't ask me for this shout out or anything like that, but uh, you know, I just want to make sure they're, they're really sweet looking coils. So I want to give them the, the time on camera. And, and you know that's the whole thing is like with this this situation here, we can do that. We can reach out. <laughs> Sorry, and we can actually yeah. like you know. I appreciate yeah, I that, Sherlock. A really shout out to uh, Mike's Mex reviews. This dude, he bought he bought a Lucid Dreamer combo, and uh, I want you guys to all subscribe to him and and go give him a hard time about reviewing it because I want to hear his thoughts really bad. I gotta subscribe to him real quick because I'm not subscribed to Mike's Mex reviews, but that will change in about ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, keyboard seven, cat, six, your keyboard cat, five. Sorry, four. <laughs> subscribe. Boom. Done. I'm subscribed. So uh, happy holidays to everyone out there. Uh, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. Um, shout out to obviously, you know, Stan and Demo for being here. We got more guests on the way. Uh, we're going to be doing this for mm, probably an hour, hour and a half or so ish. Uh, who knows? It's just oh, kind of I'll a random. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> and a quick shout out to uh, Tommy Gun Vapes. Uh, they support me 110%, and I do appreciate that. Just want to let that be known. And to everyone that's watching the stream right now, um, don't forget to share it around. If, it, if you know any other night owls out there, you know, if your Twitter followers are, are night owls as well, then don't forget to share this around. 
but yeah, yeah. big shout out to Mike's vapes, uh, Mike's Mike Mike's vapes, Mike's Mike's <laughs> reviews because uh, he's a fellow Sabs host, and uh, like I said before, he's an awesome dude, and uh, he definitely deserves a follow. He's a new new YouTuber, um, but he's definitely coming into his own, and we're shout gonna out. we're gonna train him. Shout out to the startups, right? You know, like like uh, Stan and I are both startups. You know, uh, Mike's Mech Reviews were, were startups. You know, I've got 700-some subscribers. Uh, Stan, you're probably, I don't know, you were on the same, right? Um, Dude, I'm a, I'm a vet. I'm too cool for subscribers. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> oh, Lavender, we've got video on Lavender. Hey! hey so uh, let's let's real quick just present Miss Angela Lavender Lee. Yes. Right. So, Give Angela, right. would you do you prefer Angela or Lavender? It really doesn't matter. I just, a- I just write under... Lavender Lee. Right. I just I just know you under Angela. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. So it's your time to shine right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're doing here, and uh, what you do for the vape community. Um, I write for Vape News Magazine. <laughs> I, I guess. Like, is that what I'm supposed to say? I don't know. Uh, I like things. I like mods. I like juice. I like meeting people more than do anything. Like, do you like long walks on the beach? I do like the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not been drinking, so. Yeah, you're better off than all of us then. Well, you know. This is my. I'm, I'm just dealing with the Great Dane puppy that's trying to, like, you know, burn down Tokyo. I was going to say, I saw that on your Facebook. God, is, it, is it a he or she? It's a he. Oh, so cute. He's he's a hot mess. It's like having another child running loose in the house. So freaking adorable, though. Oh my god. He's, well, he's my dude, ghost. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. Feel free to to join in on the conversation. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, guys. So we've got Sherlock Holmes in chat. I did want to give him a quick shout out. His uh, his build and videos are. In my opinion, you know, and I'm not affiliated with him in any way, shape, or form, but his build videos are some of the best in terms of the really, especially the really complicated ones. Because, you know, like I love like people like Nick Devine and stuff like that, but his videos are an hour and 30 minutes long. But Sherlock's are like, you know, 15, 17 minutes, you know, stuff like that, shorter videos. And uh, they, they, they really teach you how to do it. In fact, I actually have Sherlock's Stagger Maker behind me right now. Um, I might be able to go grab that real quick and show you guys. Let's it's see it. Sweet. Okay, hold on yeah. one second. Stagger maker. Stagger maker. Yeah, this is a game changer, like a, guys. That sounds like a pistol or something. Hey Nick, give me a wrench. Give me a wrench. It is. No, no, <laughs> actually, here on the East Coast, it is technically not no longer Fresh Build Friday. It's uh, it's staggering Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, Stagger Maker. Um, Stagger Maker is this little guy right here. I have a little piece of wire attached to it right now. It's this guy right here. It's a little loop. Um, it's a load of balls. Right, it's a loop on top of some <laughs> lead fishing weights. Had to. Like this, this is sweet, man. This this actually made me, uh, if you go on my Instagram, at demo underscore vapes, I think I posted a staggered staple coil on there that i did and i used this to make the staggered things it worked out great i also posted on coil wars the facebook group go check that out if you're a builder um yeah this thing is fucking awesome um and it comes Time with uh, mini paper clips too I, I i didn't even realize that i didn't look at the description but it came with mini paper clips which i have been using constantly so mini paper clips. i want to i want to know who the fisherman was that started building coils that's what I want to know. There had to be one. Dude, fisherman's tools have like changed the coil building game. Yeah. Weights and, and swivels and all that stuff. And it's kind of come and gone. I, I kind of feel. Um, I mean, I started with the swivels, then I, I discovered magnets. Magnets, hashtag, how do they work? But uh, <laughs> <laughs> magic. <laughs> And now, I, and now I have a uh, an uh, what is it USA Ohms, USA Ohm Reader, uh, whatever dot com um, spinner jig thing, and it's freaking awesome. I was gonna say I was gonna say fucking, but I didn't. Well, oh. 
I just did. Well, well, there you go. Um, can I talk about swivels for a second? Um, if you guys oh. want some great swivels, check out, and I use a swivel like the SWVL, which is essentially a different version of the Spin LT from USA Ohm Meters. I use that, and to that, I attach a croc, Bill Fisher croc fishing swivel, and I use the 330 pound test uh, model for like, like decors and Claptons and stuff like that. And I use the, um, 110 pound, uh, test for like things like micro Claptons and very, very intricate stuff. Um, and that those swivels are a thousand times better than the spin LT or the swivel. They are, I can use 36, I can do a micro Clapton on a piece of 36 gauge with that. And they spin freely. And I use one swivel. I use one swivel. Because they're they're dual they're dual sided they swivel on both sides. So all right, real quick, I just want to get the general consensus from you guys out there. Uh, multi swivels, single swivels versus ball bearing spinners or ball, I guess just bearing swivels. Whoa! Someone is oh, somebody, echoing. Somebody's echoing. The speaker's going on. Oh, Lavin, we're funny. all on headphones. That's weird. Um, I prefer. Hey, it's aliens. Yeah. Right. I prefer fishing swivels. Uh, yeah. Sherlock just says Crocs are killer pricey though. You're right. Uh, Crocs are about ten dollars for two swivels, um, but you, I only use one, and one lasts me between anywhere between six and nine months. So, um, but yeah, I prefer swivels now. Uh, ever since I discovered the Crocs, I was all about the Spin LT and stuff like that, but now I am swivels. Back, back to swivels. You just got to have the good ones. If you don't have the good ones, then you might as well buy the Spin LT, but the thing is the Spin LT is, you know what? I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that, 20 bucks. But you, if you buy the Crocs, 10 bucks, right? So, eh. You know, I, I feel like you, you kind of spend a little bit and you kind of get a little bit. It's not anything like super necessary, but it's whatever works for you. Total. I, I feel, I feel that I, uh, I'm all about, I'm, I don't know. I, uh, I'll put it this way. I, I do 42 gauge wrap on my frame staples and, uh, I had struggled with getting it really clean on the, on the swivel, the SWVL swivel. And then when I switched to the Crocs, it helped a lot, and I'm I'm getting them much cleaner now. So your coils, by the way, I must say, spend the time, man. I I I, I took the time to learn. Well, thank you. I I really appreciate that. And I'm Last, sure. I think I'm getting crazy static. Am I peaking? No, you're actually a bit quiet. Am you I? You just got that distortion from the road. Uh, yeah. I... I'm sorry. I'll get a new mic. All good. All good. Dear this, Santa. This for these live shows. Yeah, right. Dear, Dear Santa. Santa. <laughs> right. I'm, yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Whatever whatever it takes to get it done. My wife told done. me that she got me something crazy for va like vapor related for Christmas, and I can't even imagine what it might be. It's a stab with hex. <laughs> there you go. Dude, she told me she went halvesies in with, with somebody else on a Christmas gift for me. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking out. It's like, I'm so excited. I don't know what the heck it could be. I've only introduced her to uh, Seth from Lazy Bear vs. Box Mods. So I'm kind of like, ah. <laughs> you know what I'm a little bit upset about? Like, Lazy Vapors was at uh, VCC Tampa. And I just like... Didn't even make my way over there. This is a Lazy Vapors box. I got one right here. I brought it up with me. My I am dumb. <laughs> Nick, do you want to present me for a second? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yep, this, Mine's not this, stab wood. This is the Lazy Vapors stab wood DNA 75C. Uh, and this little LV back here, I thought this was an etching up until I did my review. And then when I macroed in on it, I was like, holy shit. This is a p these are pieces of stab wood cut out. <laughs> like and put into the LV. How much time did that take? Like, that's insane. You got the DNA seventy five C. I've got the Entheon up top. Monkey cream inside. Just, oh. just fancy, 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 aren't you? All right, real quick. Uh, we got Joel coming in right now. Joel, do you have? Let's just give a, an audio check here, real quick. Oh, hey. Test, test, test. test. Ready, Mary. 
work. You're good. You're a little quiet, but all right. No, you're you're good. What's up, man? Uh, for those, you? for everyone who doesn't know, can you just quickly like introduce yourself? Tell them what you're all about. Anything you're working on, project wise, who you are, whatever. Name's Joel, aka Mister Just Right One. Uh, just Right Christmas, biggest thing going for me right now. Also, Denishmus making that thing happen. Trying to get back to this community. Ultimate and go. Right on. That's what I'm working on. Right on. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we're just hanging out, man. We're just talking swivels. We're talking stab wood. We're talking all sorts of stuff right now. So feel free to join in on the convo. I love stab wood. If I could afford it, I would buy it. Just because. Just buy a block, good. dude. Yes, Mantis Minimal has some beautiful designs. There's a guy down here right in uh, in the area that I live that does amazing work. He posts all over Instagram, but he doesn't cut any blocks big enough for mods. He cuts them for like pens and things like that. So I've messaged him to see if he can cut some big enough for mods. Could I just say like real quick that Demo, you and I are outnumbered by Texans. Oh, I know. Hey. I know. Hey. Yeah. Right. But we're all over the place. But I'm still I'm still in Central Time. I'm in Minnesota. So shout Welcome out to everyone time from zone. Minnesota. <laughs> uh, yep. So it's uh it, it's it's a sweet thing. It's it's insanely cold here right now. Um let me let me just uh let me just find out for you guys how cold it is at the moment. It's cold, like uh, it's cold in Texas right now. It's like 30 yeah. degrees out here right now. It's freezing. It yeah. currently getting your weather data. Yes. Thank you, phone. <laughs> iPhone X. It's just uh, Sherlock Holmes is moving to Texas in two weeks. Welcome, Welcome to Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. Shit, everybody's moving to Texas, man. It's, it's, I can't wait to get a hold of you and get some coils. It's 24 <laughs> degrees here. Oh, my God. It's like I didn't know the went that low. negative two Celsius, Mike. Mike's Mex. <laughs> Um, we actually have some people from the UK in right now, so sh shout out to you. <laughs> so for some reason, my weather channel app is deciding to uh, not work on me here. Uh, we're probably pushing around 15 degrees here in Minnesota right now. I don't know how you guys do it. I could never live in, a, yep. in, 19, in that cold 19. of weather. I couldn't Jeff, do it. Jeff, Jeff, Storm, let me 19. just look out. Well, it's pitch black, but uh, it's probably still freezing rain and sleet. Uh, Monday. Raise my glass to the UK people in the chat right now. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Monday, it's supposed to be zero here. Zero? Wow. We're, We're entering the January. I don't think we've ever had that in Dallas ever. <laughs> We're entering the January uh, freeze off where January, there's always a two week period where we hit. Anywhere between negative ten and negative thirty for about two weeks, and uh, it. Uh, so for all you UK people, that's about the same in Celsius because uh, negative forty in Fahrenheit and Celsius cross actually. So we're roughly the same in Celsius. So, um, yeah. So good times, right? I think Nick wishes he had a uh, UK accent. I do at times. Yeah, I to get one. Because I need to fit in with my my co cohorts here, my UK friends, and I. I it's funny because like whenever we're on the the Sab show, it's like uh, I try to do their accents and they make fun of me. I can do a Scottish accent. Let's hear yeah. it. Let's do oh, it. Good Hit Lord. me. Do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna offend people. Um, I was watching your Star Trek line though. I was watching your uh, show last week uh, or just a little bit ago, uh, Nick, and where you asked Vic to say purple burglar alarm. <laughs> it's it's what it's one one word. Bagla. Like a um the uh the, the one that I can do is uh I, I love Todd. I love watching Todd because he's Hey there, Todd here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my channel. We're Dude, today we're gonna be reviewing the K Fun Prime. <laughs> you're he's you're so soft spoken. Yeah, but you're a little too suave for for him. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hey folks, Todd here. Today we're gonna review the K Fun Prime. That's a bit better, yeah. I, I really think you could do an entire show, an entire video, what have you, all just 
impersonations. Like you could uh, totally do that. I would trust me when I when I put out the review, uh, uh, the 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 Bonza. I'm gonna I'm gonna start my review with, "Good day, you bloody dickheads! The vaping <laughs> fucking bogan back here today. How the fuck are you?" <laughs> you have the picture. You have the picture. Right? <laughs> Dude, that's uh, I, I I've thought about going into voiceover a few different times because it's um, so I'm an opera singer by trade. You guys, you guys, some of you might know that. It's, no, it'll, don't, it'll, don't it'll, make it'll, it'll blow it'll blow the mic out. But what I'm what I will do <laughs> for anyone who wants to hear me sing opera, I'm gonna post a link in YouTube or in the chat of my other channel, um, where I am in, with a piano. Oh, Demo oh. sings. Um, I have a normal channel under David Morgan, which is my real name. That's Demo David Morgan. Um, and uh, I'm going to post a video, and you guys can check it out. It's three minutes long or so, and it's uh, it's me singing with a piano in a concert hall in my full warmed-up glory or whatever. I've heard his opera voice, and God damn, I swear to God, you rattled some windows in Texas. I want to hear... I want to hear you do that. No, 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 no. Don't make him do it now. Don't make him do it now. No, no, it's no, not no. fair. Right it now, I'm going to give him a challenge. Oh. Oh, what, I'll, what I'll do for you guys is I'll, I'll go real soft. I'll go real soft. I'll go. <laughs> well, that was like Little Mermaid. I literally <laughs> just no like. Little Mermaid? <laughs> that was so amazing. I got tingles, bro. Dude, I want to hear you sing. He killed the wabbit. I want to hear that one. Kill no, I want to hear that. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. <laughs> Stan. <laughs> Stan, I want to hear you sing that. You want to hear me sing? He needs a the, couple the, more beers. Yes, Stan. <laughs> Dude, no, I was in bands, but I never claimed to sing. I yeah, but you're the one calling people out right now. The vocalist, huh? You're the one calling people out right now. Yeah, man, I went to school. Oh, there you go. That's, that's me. I went to. I think uh, there's a video somewhere with Stan uh, at a, a someone vape find event. It. Someone find it. Um, if you watch my recoil right, first look, I uh, I go and I and I and I, and I sing that. Oh, that's so cool. Just <laughs> a new best <laughs> friend. <laughs> demo, demo, just copy that clip and just paste it in front of every single review. All right, guys, so let's take a look. <laughs> I just do it again. I just do it. I just do it. I, I don't need to do it twice. I can just, or I don't need to do it just once and record it. I just do it again every time. <laughs> Lavender, there is only one clip left on the internet of me doing any kind of vocals whatsoever. And it's so, not even a full song. It's only like 15 seconds long. It's the only clip left of the old band that I was in. That's what about it. this what about this karaoke attempt? Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> is that a thing? That is not a thing. That does not exist. It's kind of a thing. I can't have another fuck out of karaoke. challenge. A challenge of you to post it? No. No, I pink, <laughs> next no, time they all, pink, or, no, they all pinky swore they would not do that to me. That was right. that was terrible. Demo, demo. I was ten yeah. sheets to the wind. <laughs> next time we're all in Texas, it's going down. Oh, dude, I'm oh, yeah. I'm So I sing opera, right? But for karaoke, I sing like System of a Down. Like that's like my shit when I when I sing karaoke. I sing like Chop Suey, oh, yes. like the 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 um. Trusted my self-righteous suicide. I want to hear some dream theater. <laughs> some I'm dream so theater. Excited. Okay. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh! I need uh, to hook you up with some coheed balls. Coheed, balls. dude! I saw coheed in Cambria. Wait, wait. Holy. Where's my? Ticket? I've seen them eight times. I've seen them one time. And I had um, this was before I got my orthotics, so I couldn't like stand up, so I had to like sit in the back. I think I spilled um, like beer or e liquid on it, but I do I do have my coheed ticket. Uh, <laughs> I saw I saw coheed and Cambria at First Avenue in Minneapolis, which was Prince's Club. It was legendary. My favorite all time band, Coheed. My favorite all time band, and that one clip that exists on the internet is me covering their song, their uh, Free Evils. Okay. 
Mike's mech reviews. Can you do Anon Amarth demo? I don't know who Anon Amarth is. I'm sorry. Anon Amarth, it's a metal band. It's like black oh. metal. It's like yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I'm not into metal. Like like I, I, I like System of a Down, but like metal is like not my not my not my thing. It's uh it's and it's not because I don't like it. It's because it's a world that's too large for me to really get into without just diving all the way in. I did that once with opera. And uh, you know, you could ask now me about. I could uh, you could ask me anything about opera, and I could tell you pretty much. But you know, an AMA on opera that sounds Dude. interesting on your channel. I yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't be the one to do it, but you know, it's uh, there are there are people who are much better known than I am in opera that uh, would would do it and would be amazing. You know, you went up like fifteen cool points on my scale. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, no, well, I'm glad we have a scale here. Well, all right. Yeah. So, so Demo and I like really got a chance to like bond and connect in in Texas, and I really appreciate that because like I I feel like I know him on a whole other scale to what everyone else knows him as, and like that's that's what I love I about it because like I knew I know so much about Demo now, and it's just coming out to you guys. Like you guys just learned that he's into opera, but he like legit like. Would like belt he belted it at the top of his lungs. I I I, I honestly I might have I might have been three sheets to the wind. Yeah, in, in that moment. But. There, there may have or may not have been a bottle of Jameson involved. Oh my gosh, I want to get Demo drunk so bad and just have him <laughs> freaking shatter some glass. Like oh, I, just... I do that. I've done that. I've done that. I'm gonna find you the video, dude. It's on YouTube, man. I I have a video of me breaking glass. It, I'm yes. not kidding. So I'm gonna let you guys take over for a second because I you need to use the facilities, but uh, don't don't mess up my channel. All right. Why do you have to pee in the middle of your live shows? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm like in the, in the middle. Teacup right? bladder. Teacup bladder. I I'm like six beers deep right now. Well, um, I I, dude, I'm right here. Look, my little my little girl. I stole her her lunch box to keep my beer cold, and there's only one left. <laughs> I'll be okay. right back, guys. So I just posted. Yeah. You, okay. Cool. I just posted a link. Um, I just posted a link. Why am I on? Is Daily Vape TV presenting? Oh God damn no. it! No, you're presenting. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, I just posted a link in chat of me in high school. I was young as fuck. Um, of me breaking a glass. So I would forgive any and all of you if you want to go watch that video and come back because that was me breaking a wine glass. No trickery, no bullshit. That is me breaking a wine glass with my voice. I just opened it and paused it to just watch it later. Should well, I watch it now? You can watch it now, but just make sure to turn it down because it's a really unfortunate sound that I had to I'm make. I'm not even going to turn it up. I just want to watch your face, and I want to do a uh, reaction video right now. Yeah, Hold go on. for it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, ooh, ooh it scared you. <laughs> yeah, dude, of course it scared me, man. It, 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 <laughs> What happens is it breaks, and you don't know when it's gonna break. You, uh, you, 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 you blast this tone at the glass, essentially at insane right. volume, right? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Two more cool points, dude. Well, thank more. you. <laughs> um, well, I'm not opera. Lose Constantine because you talked about karaoke. My karaoke goes to like Clarence Carter and somewhere along the lines. That's like the most I go for on karaoke. So. <laughs> Yeah, I love karaoke shaming yeah. or like death by <laughs> karaoke where you get to pick a song for your friend who doesn't know that he's singing Shania Twain's man. I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh That's yeah. Just I roll hard. That's vicious. Dude, I yeah, I, I I have a buddy of mine that I go to karaoke with all the time, and I sign him up for songs that he's not even aware that he's doing. <laughs> and he he just he's just always like, wait, I have to sing this shit by Aerosmith. God damn it! Like you know, and it's just like always this like crazy high stuff, you know. Um, but I yeah, if you say my name. Oh the no, the stuff you're... that Lavender Lee was referring to earlier was at her um, at her benefit that she did for flood victims in Houston. And I was extremely drunk because uh, Mean John Green decided it would be fun to totally destroy me at beer pong. And but it was so much fun. It was a blast. It was an absolute blast, except for the fact that I know all the words to pretty much all three Eleven songs. And when you get me that drunk, <laughs> when you get me that drunk, and you put me we up all on know the stage, them too. <laughs> I sing the wrong song to the wrong song. 
So, <laughs> it is not a myth. Oh, words uh, the wrong song. It is Mike's called crisscross lyrics. <laughs> Mike's mech reviews is like, oh, I thought it was a myth. It is not a myth. You can break a glass with your voice. Um, it's uh, yeah. it's it's I've it's a real it. thing. It, it's not it's not like the traditional thing where you hear like a soprano like ah! and like and you know just like you know like breaking all the windows and stuff. It doesn't work like that. My but, computer screen just broke, bro. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's a thing. And so, um, anyway, yeah. So sorry, I, I got sidetracked. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's 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 totally a thing. Um, I, I've never been able to repeat it. I did it. I've done it like three or four times, and recently I haven't really been able to repeat it. But when I was in high school, my voice was just in that right spot where I could just nail a glass. And it and it totally it totally just depends on the glass. You have to pick a glass that is at the strongest part of your voice. But um, yeah, glass talents are awesome. Up. I love that. Dude, I've got so many fucking. I love how talents. excited he gets when he talks about it. <laughs> Dude, because my hidden talents are are many. Like I can I can I can beatbox. I can do all these weird pops. I had lots of free oh, time as a kid. Right now, ready to go. Dance. Okay, so so I can do a, a turntable sound. That's 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 my thing. Like the the. <laughs> no. Uh, who's pushing? Button? Someone drop a beat. Keep your hand. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Why> don't... <laughs> now, now, my question is, why don't you showcase these extra talents? Like, you need to showcase these extra. Uh, That's extra what the talents. live show's for, Nick. Come on. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's just it's just a thing that I do in life. I don't I don't you know. This is the thing is like I get proficient at a lot of things, but I don't get like legendary at much, right? So like it's like I get I I can do things to a to a degree. Like I can blow O's with vaping, but I can't like do jellyfishes and crazy shit. I can do a turntable sound, but I can't do all the crazy beatbox stuff, right? So I can't none of the things that I get good at, I'm never on like a national level with, right? Like, but that's or an international level with. But it's I just like to I just like to, you know. I don't like to do things half-assed, right? Like, I, I, you can get national, but just not international. So, <laughs> well, like I, I like to do things all the way, right? If I want to learn to do something, I learn to do it, and I learn to do it to the point where I'm satisfied. I'm I like worry about you sometimes, man. <laughs> like it's gonna be like, hey, man, I bet I could drink a beer faster than you. You're gonna be like, <sighs> well, Jeff Storms will tell you I can shotgun a pounder in about three and a half seconds. I can drink a beer faster than every single one of you guys. I don't even have to know how fast you drink a beer. Ooh, ooh, that sounds ooh. like a challenge. Uh, ooh, like the yeah. Texas challenge that's coming that's out. That's ooh, not like a, a challenge, challenge that, that, because shotgun and beers a, is my thing. Is that a Lone Star? A challenge. Or? That is a no. That is any beer, and that's not a challenge. That is the truth. You too, Sherlock. Have a great holiday. I don't know. Shotgun and beers too, man. I'm not kidding. We got her shotgun and beers, and I'm pretty good at it myself. Ah. Uh, Look, like I, uh, I'll take you on, man. We'll have to do it on a live stream or something. Because <laughs> yes, please. The fridge right yes, now. Please. I'll go grab it. I'll take you. Pour it up, and uh, we'll slam one down. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a shotgunnable beer right now. So no, we'll break the glass. Just different time, guys. What? We'll have to hey, for this. Demo, what is a shotgunnable beer? I mean, why do we have to? Why so I can't shotgun beer? a double IPA because that's just a like drinking a milkshake when it that's comes just to beer. Responsible. Oh, so, you know that's 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 your problem. Man. Well, look, I, I mean, I, okay, I could in front of you. I could shotgun that beer, but I don't want to. Right, it's a beer I want to enjoy. Right, like I'm talking about like a Hams or like a PBR or like a Keystone Light or something like that. I can't even drink those beers; they make me sick. <laughs> Dude, hams. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the hipster, the hipster beer uh, no, uh, aficionado right now. I'm like, hams, <laughs> hams is the hipster shit beer because hams is born in the land of the sky blue waters in Milwaukee, and hams is a total crap beer, but it's it's the best crap beer I've ever had. <laughs> my uh, my Bud Light is gonna is like uh, is brown ale. What's it called? The uh, uh, Newcastle. Newcastle is like my Bud Light. Newcastle is like iced tea, Jeff. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Right. Uh, honestly, my Bud Light is Bud Light because Bud Light is basically water. But if you want water, you're talking about Coors Light. 
Oh, that'll keep you hydrated. Dude, Coors Light was my favorite in college because I hated beer in college, and uh, it was the least offensive <laughs> to me. What so, is Nick drinking on? At some point, um, actually, you know what? It's funny because like I, I really want to make a T-shirt. We were talking about uh, T-shirts in my pre-show stream on my uh, Facebook group. But I really want to make a T-shirt that says "I drink beer out of a fancy glass" and have like the profile of a tulip glass on there, because like the tulip glass is like the go-to for any beer snob out there. We're we'll talking about fancy glasses, man. This is an IPA glass. This is a glass that is meant for IPAs specifically, and uh, it is like. I mean, I'm enjoying this ale out of this glass. Let me let me be honest, but uh, <laughs> you know, this is this is an IPA. This was an extra What's on that? Ron Jeremy's last film. Your glass has built-in bubbles. <laughs> true. Shag carpet in the video too, so. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just if you wanted to go beer for beer, I'm game. <laughs> it, this sounds like you know we were speaking briefly off stream real quick after the show, like that we were planning on doing this again on uh, Tenacious's channel there. And uh, I think it's a good idea, but uh, I think we need to be a little less structured, in my opinion. A little less structured? Yeah, I a think, little less. I, I think little. no, a little, because I think that structure is great. I think we should plan on fewer topics and that we can flesh, out them, flesh them out more. Like, literally, go on a whole two-hour rant about Nick Saltz. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, the funny thing about that is, is it'd probably take a little more planning. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> well, it's just but, this irony. You know, one thing to expand my channel has been me doing these live live shows and live streams, just random stuff where I just like do a Q and A, like on a Friday night. And uh, th this is basically one of those times because, like, I like to, to for my subscribers and you know uh, to get to know the real me. And this is the real me, man. This is like the the most me you're gonna get because I'm I'm a few beers deep right now. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm talking to my subscribers and the people that are jumping on chat right now. And this is like the most real you're ever gonna get me. I mean, if you meet me in in real life, if you ever get the opportunity to like hang out with me at a vape convention, this is the me that you're gonna get. Ooh, hey, there's a question in chat that, uh, dude, I totally agree with you, by the way. Uh, people respond to it's just because, you know, they feel like they know you a little bit better. <clears throat> but there's a question in chat by, uh, uh, Ma wait, hold on. Michael Diam Diamantino. Diamantino. And he says, what is the best reviewer RDA? After a few beers, I'm kind of curious to see where that goes. Okay. What is the oh. best reviewer RDA and what is the worst reviewer? I've got RDA? lots of opinions and I'm unafraid. <laughs> I'm unafraid. Um, Hold on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Go for it. <clears throat> okay. I'm unafraid of this and I'm not going to, I will not shit on a product, but I will be honest. I think the best reviewer RDA is the drop. Um, I think that the drop is one of my favorite RDAs of all time. Actually, it's it sits right below the reload RDA as my favorite RDA. Um, and I think the worst RDA of all of reviewer RDAs of all time is the Recoil Rebel. Oh, 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 oh damn. Yep, I know. Oh, it's, oh. It's, it's controversial. Those two <laughs> points are now gone. It's controversial. No, okay. I get it. All right, okay. hold on. Explain yourself, oh, sir. Oh, I am I'm happy to explain myself. Um, so the Recoil Rebel, I'm pretty sure the one I got was it was broken or it's, it was not good because I had O-ring problems. I had tolerance issues with the caps. I had uh, turbulence issues with the AFC cap. I got mediocre flavor. Um, I got uh dry like weird like so if i use just the top airflows on the afc cap i would get like burnt hits because i wasn't getting any airflow to the coils um overall i was vastly unimpressed with the recoil rebel and I'm, i know i'm gonna piss some people off by saying that and, and and you know what at the end of the day if you enjoy your recoil rebel keep enjoying your recoil rebel like i, I i'm not here to shit on the thing that you enjoy i did not enjoy it um 
I'm trying to think if there was any, I mean, okay. So maybe, maybe if we're going to branch beyond RDAs, I would say the Pharaoh RTA, the first one, the Rip Trippers one was worse, but I, I'm not a fan of the Requel Rebel. I, I got to be honest with you. And, uh, and that is just what it is. I, I don't, uh, and yeah, I, I don't have much more to say about that. I, I, you can watch my follow-up to the, to the Requel Rebel review and I, show you guys all my issues that I had with it. All right. So can all I right, just, your time's up. I'm just going to jump okay, in. Sorry. I'm just going to jump in sorry. real quick. I, I just want to jump in real quick and, and just say that I, I do a hundred percent believe that you have tolerance issues. I do a hundred percent believe that you have O-ring issues because I definitely have O-ring issues with mine. Uh, tolerance is a finicky bitch because it's made in China. And they, they, you know, obviously they don't advertise that a right. whole bunch, but yes, it is made in China. However, all right. It, Sorry. Sorry. However, Sorry. I have been told certain things about the future of the recoil family that will probably change your mind about the whole situation next year. Oh, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to disclose any other information. Oh, but I'm just saying. That's fine. Look, the way I view products is that if I have one bad product, that does not mean that any future products by that same company, I'm going to give a, a similar judgment to. Every product is its own product, and companies can release a product that I don't like and then release a product that I love right after the right after another. I've given for let's talk about Vandy Vape. I've given some of their products great reviews, and I've given one of one of their products uh, not so great review. Right, and so. It, I, I have no, I, I evaluate every product on its own. And so if just because I don't like the rebel does not mean that I won't like the next requel product. Um, you know, it's, it's, it is, it is what it is. And I know my opinion on the rebel is super controversial and super uh, not quite with the mainstream. I kind of thought about getting another one. I thought about getting a stainless steel one just to try it out. But I was like, I'm not going to spend another 60 bucks on a product that I might not like because I didn't like the first one, right? So if I ever get a chance to vape on someone else's Requel Rebel and it's different completely, then yeah, I'll, I'll give it another shot. I'm always down to do an update, right? Like if, if I discover a Requel Rebel that is amazing, I'm always down to like put out another video and be like, by the way, like uh, my first one was bad. And, uh, you know, is what it is. So... I, I don't think I'm. I, I've moved away from gold plated atomizers because I've had tolerance issues with gold plated atomizers. Um, the Bonza is another one. This is gold plated. The deck O rings are super loose. These O rings are super tight, and it, I can't adjust the airflow on this. I, I can't. I have to pop it out to adjust the airflow. So somebody um, in that's chat. That's funny. Sorry. You said you tolerance issue. Uh, because I have the, uh, dead rabbit. Yeah. Probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. Will drop. Has the tolerance issues. So. I, I don't know. The re, the Rebel was like way down on my list, so you earned 50 points with me, brother, <laughs> for the honesty of it, because I know you're a fan. So I like Green Green. Unbiased and honesty. Hey, I respect that. I really do. I love my Recoil like Rebel, though. That's I do, I, too, man. And I'm pretty critical of stuff. Right I'm pretty critical of stuff, I feel, and I really like my Recoil Rebel. And, like, it passes a drop test now. I don't know what I did to change that, but I mean, proofs in pudding. Well, okay, all right. I did shake it quite See, a bit. Right mine now. had the opposite <laughs> problem. My my O ring started out loose, and they went. They got tight. It was weird. Like it was the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen before with any RDA of any type from anybody. It was weird. Well, that's uh, a pretty the, common issue with the drop, though. And, and T yeah, my drop has gotten worse as I use it. The drop o rings on the top get tight. TC Vape says is Dead Rabbit has the worst O rings, and I tend to agree with that. I don't own a Dead Rabbit. I have seen people's come through the shop, and I've tested them myself just based on like them complaining about it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that that O ring is terrible in my TC, opinion. TC Vapes, uh, check your serial number if you have. A serial number that's 250 or under, you should contact Heathen because um, they updated the O rings after the first 250 and uh, they, they fixed the problem. So uh, mine were super loose and I contacted Heathen, got some new O rings, and now it's great. 
I bought I five that. dead rabbits. That's how much I love the damn thing. Tony, uh, by the way, uh, uh, tightening the negative post on an RDA from China is not an uncommon issue. You should do that on every RDA you get yep. ever. That's the like like first thing I post. check. I check the <laughs> positive and the negative posts. I always tighten them down. I'm OCD about my screws. Like, bottom line, every single Are screw. Are you? Yes. Why, Sorry. what? So I took that as a more of a dirty joke than anything. Oh, uh, <laughs> well played, sir. Well, hey, uh, uh, well, he was talking about O rings though, and um, Nick, you contacted me with O rings on the Lucid, saying they were a little bit loose on yours, and then I showed you mine, and mine are tight. So, like, right? That's, I actually thinking. mentioned that in my review. Um, you know, I, oh, I did, you did get... the review already. Yeah, no, it's it's all re it's all recorded. Oh. I just have to edit and upload. Yeah. All right, so a little preview, a little preview. I did mention that as a con, but I also mentioned that you contacted me about the issue and you didn't have the same issue. So, I mean, it could be it's a QC. It could be a QC thing or it could be just like the that batch of O-rings or whatever, but you know, I just had to mention them. I, I I'm not going to apologize to you, Stan. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to apologize for mentioning it as a con, but no, dude, I don't care, man. I want to hear true opinions. I'm not. I'm not. I don't hold anything. Being a reviewer myself, no. but I did mention the fact that we did speak, and yeah. we kind of went over this, you know. So I, I just want to let that be known, dude. I'm not going to hold anything against you for anything. Negative, positive, I don't care. It's right totally on. okay. And that's why I respect you. <laughs> 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 hey, so my somebody, somebody! My backlight sorry, went out. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got battery-operated lights here, so this one's next. Oh, right here. Battery. Hey, well, so my main my my key yeah. light is corded. Um, my two uh, like my my backlight and my uh, fill light over here are on batteries. Gotcha. All right, St Stan, you wanted to say something. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. I was just curious. Somebody's going crazy about the Smoke Stick X8, and I haven't used it. I was curious if you guys have used it. Somebody um, in the I don't have that much experience with it personally. Like, I don't own – I literally don't own any smoke products, not one. <laughs> but I don't, I don't either. I sell a lot of them. Uh, give an opinion on the Smoke Stick X8 – it's a smoke product. You're always going to run into QC issues. Uh, I've seen a couple of them just burn up for no apparent reason. Just stop charging or stop firing or stop turning on, whatever. Um, as far as the overall functionality of it, I think it's a decent kit if you get it to work right for a, a longer period of time. But as far as the long run, don't expect it to last forever. If you get a year out of it, you're good. You got your money's worth. But you're going to go through coils left and right, and it's going to run into QC problems. I need to say something also. While we're sitting here talking critically about products, just realize that you know none of us are being critical of either the people that come out with these products or critical of the um, you know the people who like these products, right? So if you are a smoke fan, you can keep using smoke products, right? Like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter you know, what we think, if you like a product, you, you keep liking it, right? Like, like, that's something that I think people kind of forget oftentimes in chats and comments is that people get hurt about their, their products that they love. And it's like, uh, you know what, at the end of the day, people are not going to like the same things, right? And so, you know, I just think well, that that's something that needs to be said is that like, when I said, I, I don't like the recall rebel, I like grim green and Boy OC, but I don't like the recall rebel. Right, like in a, whatever what you're dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> and I finished a complete 750 of this barrel aged. Uh, Good God, man, you're dead. way ahead of me. Well, sorry, I haven't finished that. I I, I still have this much left. So so, uh, and I also wanted to elaborate on that a little bit, and it's the fact that like, okay, we're ob objection based. You know, we are objective reviewers. We go by what we see and what we experience when testing. Uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't have any reflection on, you know, your experience with the device. Cause obviously people get different stuff all, all the time. And, and especially with like Vandy vape and stuff like that, like they'll release like a, a second batch or something like that and not even tell people the difference. 
So right. that's a thing in this industry. Like it's kind of just flying under the radar right now because no one really talks about it. But you could you could get a uh, let's just say for instance like the reviewers sample copies of the Icon RDA. The first batch had copper posts that were gold plated, and those literally disintegrated. Luckily, I didn't get the copper ones. I got the either stainless or brass or whatever it was coated with. But, uh, I mean, you're going to get it. You might end up getting a different version of what the reviewers get at the end of the day. Right. Um, Mr. Just Right has a question for me, apparently. Yes, I do. <laughs> He's a dead rabbit. You're a fan of Grim Green. If you didn't see this question coming, my apologies, my friend. Sure. No, you're good. Yes. Review of that, and I want honesty here because we're being honest with each other. Wait, what? Didn't I didn't, didn't hear your I didn't hear your question? Okay. Uh, the drop being your favorite RDA, fan of Grim Green. I'm sorry, you're breaking you're breaking up here. Um, I think he, he said, he, "What's he, your he, favorite RDA?" No, no, he's asking. No. <laughs> you're a fan of the drop. Say it again, Joel. Okay, you're a fan of the drop. Yes. Grim Green, you're a fan of his. Yes. What was your opinion on his review of that said device? Oh, boy. Man. <laughs> okay. So I got, I got to be careful, right? Um, but but at the same time, I don't. I thought that he missed the mark with the, uh, with the, with, with, with the lead clippings. I thought, I thought that he missed the mark with that. But at the end of the day... We all make mistakes, and uh, his review was not a negative review, guys. Everybody who is, like, freaking out over the, the fact that Grim Green gave the drop, like, a shitty review or something like that, he didn't give it a shitty review. He gave it a mid-level review. It is not his favorite product. And me being a reviewer, just like Grim Green being a reviewer, he got a product, and he didn't use it the way necessarily it was intended to be used. But at the end of the day, he didn't like it. And much like how I don't like the Recoil Rebel, he's entitled to that opinion. And so that doesn't make me lose any respect for Grim Green, but it does make me know that Grim Green, his opinions are different than mine. He He's my favorite reviewer because I'm most entertained by Grim Green. However, if I want technical reviews, I watch DJ LSB Vapes. I oftentimes watch uh, Nick Daily Vape TV. I watch your reviews regularly when they come out. And I'm, I'm not trying to brown nose or anything. I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I watch other I watch other channels, you know, for technical stuff. And I watch Grim Green because I'm entertained by Grim Green. I think he's a cool guy, and I think that he and I would, would be cool. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I'm a friend of his, even though I don't really know him. Um, you know, he's – he's that's that's the reason – that's one of the reasons why he has 300 and some odd thousand subscribers. Like, he's – you know, I think he missed the mark on that. But at the end of the day, eh, you know what? I'm not I'm not bothered by it. All right, so real quick, I'm going to inter in, in, wow. interject and say this, right? First of all, we're being way too serious for the time of night it is and how yes. many beers we've had. Agreed. <laughs> yes, Second agree. of all, Sorry. listen, listen, <laughs> listen, hear me out. Second of all, sing some more opera. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> second of all, uh, just because a reviewer gets their hands on a certain RDA or a certain product doesn't mean they're going to use it right. right. So. The drop has so many different buildable kind of options with it. You know, you can do a cross coil, you can do two separate coils, you can do quad coil, you can do so many different coils with that thing. Same thing with the Dead Rabbit and the Icon and the, the Recoil Rebel and all that stuff. Every single device out there has a million different building options. It's all down to the reviewer's build skill and or experience level with this with the product that's why i really like reviewers that take their time with products because it means they have more experience with it and therefore give a better kind of smattering of opinions on a device if you build several things in a like a specific tank then you're going to be able to give a better objective review in my opinion uh and at the end of the day it's like okay well, Grim Green might just throw a set of, you know, uh, Fiends builds in there or Coil Turds builds in there or whatever. And if it's not really meant for that device, then it might not do the job that it was intended to do. Sure. 
again, we're being way too serious right now, and we need to Vaping get off with it. Sorry, Vaping with Ken says pirates and ninjas. <laughs> uh, so, all right. Okay. So let's I, just, I have a question. Wait, wait, just, okay, let's, just, let's just let's end this conversation no, here. I, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> all I'm right. To do that. All right. I would like right. to hear from Lavender, and I would like to know what – Lavender, what do you do in the vape community? You, you said something about a magazine. Um we haven't heard much from you tonight, so I'd love to hear. Yeah, some I've just been kind of sitting back and letting you guys kind of do what it is that you do. Um, I'm a blogger, and I also uh, am a contributing writer for Vape News Magazine. Sweet. Yep. She's going to write all about this nonsense. Oh, uh, <laughs> never know what I'm writing about. Shit, I never thought about that. <laughs> oh, no, I've said too much. <laughs> you never know what I might say. But bottom line is we've all had a few drinks tonight and, you know, opinions can get heated. I don't think I, we all... I really do. I value all of your opinions. And Demo, again, brother, you just scored another 50 points with me. <laughs> you have 100. <laughs> that shit means something today, man. We don't have that. We're losing that every day. That, man, salute to you, brother. Demo, I want to call you personally and talk to you for hours. <laughs> <laughs> He might oh, sing to you. I heard something very different. I, <laughs> I totally heard the same thing you heard. So did I, and I'm not even drinking. <laughs> I heard, I would like to call you and fuck you for hours. And that was what I heard. <laughs> there, there, better be, there better be a reach around Incorporated. <laughs> oh, hey, hey Demo. Demo, Mary Denishmas. Oh, yes. Mary Denishmas. <laughs> I'm pouring oh, my own beer with that one. Honestly, guys, that was... That was a pretty fun event right there. I really had a lot of fun with it. Uh, if uh, yeah. follow the videos on there today, today was a hell of a day. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I'm I already joking. I want to know pirates or ninjas. All right. Yeah. Actually, that's a good good thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's let's here. I'll present to everyone. Let's go around the room. I'm gonna go left to right on my screen. Demo, you're up first. Oh boy, pirates or ninjas, man. Uh... Ninjas. Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, I, I don't have. I, don't, I shouldn't have to ask. I shouldn't have to answer that question. Why? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that question. Um, I don't know. I think. I think that honestly, if you were gonna, if you were gonna be real with you know, pirates, pirates are blunt instruments, right? Pirates are, pirates are. You know, show up, fuck everything up. You know, go crazy, right? Like, they're all about you know just like pillaging and burning, right? Ninjas are calculated, methodical warriors right they they would they would kill they would slaughter everyone on a pirate ship before they would even know that they were there all right that's that's it i mean a good a good ninja squad would right valid all right stan oh i'm second yep oh dude i was gonna say what demo said ninjas bro all right well defend it though well, I, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, they, they'd show up and they'd be like in and out, quiet and, and calm and collective. And, and would kill every wear... pirate in their beds. Not not only that, they just look cool. I mean, who doesn't want to wear a ninja outfit like at their office? And just Go like, ninja, go ninja, go. Yeah, right? Like you could be a turtle <laughs> and be, be awesome. Like you could be just like some crazy dude wearing a ski mask and be a ninja. <laughs> You know, like ninjas are way better than pirates because pirates, like he said, they're just clumsy. They like they, you know, plunder and pillage and rape and all that stuff. Well, that's us anyway. But but ninjas, they're so refined and so badass. And you know, Jackie Chan and Jean Claude Van Damme, and you know, I mean, who doesn't want to do that kind of stuff? I, I'm I'm all about ninjas. Ninjas. All right. Uh, yeah, next up, pause. we sorry, I was busy <laughs> chatting. <laughs> go for it. I'm gonna go with pirates. Oh, oh. here's why: they're fashionable, right? <laughs> with their plumes and shit. Uh, Captain Hook. Hold on, hold on. And they drink, mm. right? And they always score the booty. I mean, <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard of sake, though? I mean, like, you know. Rum. Yeah. Rum, sake. I think I'll take the rum. And okay. that right, Sam? Sure. 
I'm drinking a, yeah, uh, rum, I'm drinking a rum ale right now. Rum, rum barrel ale. All right. <laughs> Next. Time. My choices tonight are wild turkey or deep eddy vodka. That's both. what we got going on the liquor cabinet in our household. Hashtag both. Okay. All right, yeah. Joel. Well, I think it goes without saying, I'm pirate all the damn way. <laughs> pirate, pirate, pirate. <laughs> Squad of ninjas comes kills me on my ship while I'm sleeping. I'm gonna be drunk. I'll never even I'll sleep. We'll just give them <laughs> scurvy. It'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Her whole boldness of doing it boldly, big. Yes, I did it. And what? What are you gonna do about it? I done it. Right. All right. All right. And, uh, I mean, I, I guess it comes down to me, and I guess the only thing I should probably show you is oh, no. the Pirates of the Caribbean sleeve ah, that I've got yeah. going on right now. Ah, ah. Fan. Very nice. Captain Barbosa, right there. Um, <laughs> you know, just for the sake of that, I, I'm going to have to defend Pirates just because, um, all right, like, it, it's basically strategy versus brute force and at the end of the day how many ninjas are there you know you you get a pirate ship full of pirates you, you only got maybe five or six ninjas and uh, you got like these big heavy swords clashing against these little fragile katanas I, I really don't want to get down to the science of things here guys if anyone is, is feeling like commenting right now but, uh, and not only that, I mean, pirates also have their flintlock, pi flintlock pistols as well. So I'm and then, feeling, <laughs> I'm, I really I'm, like Jeff's question, man. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to cut you off. You're, you're a pirate guy. Demo and I are on the same page. No, go for uh, it. There's a dude, Jeff Storms in chat said, here's a question. What's the best and worst vape product everyone has purchased? Ooh. Actually, Ooh, this, this, not to you. Not I'll to give you, you guys all this disclaimer. Jeff Storms is a friend of mine in local, like he's a local friend of mine. He uh, he and I hang out on a regular basis. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to you, Jeff, for 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 being here. I really appreciate the support. All right, go for it. You're up first. Oh, oh, right. Okay, it's best and worst best and worst vape product anyone has ever purchased. RDAs, RTA mods, etc. Okay. Um, Oh, well, okay. So I'll start out with the worst vape product that I've ever purchased. And that would be the Azeroth RTA by Coilart. I stripped three of the screws on the first build. Um, and I replaced them all with the spare screws. And uh, I stripped two more of those and I could not finish a build. So I was never able to vape it, contacted Quail Art, and they never responded to me, contacted the Quail Art again, and then they never responded to me again. And then I contacted them a third time, they didn't respond to me, and then I was just fucked. So, um, so yeah, so the Azeroth RTA would be the worst product I've ever received. Um, the best product I've ever received would probably be the Reload RDA version 1.5, not the Reload BF. Despite the fact that I love the Reload BF, the Reload RDA version 1.5 has exceeded any and all expectations and is my favorite RDA of all time. And I have a tough time vaping on other things because I love it so much. Um, and that's, uh, th that is what it is. All right. Very well done. Uh, Stan, you're up. Man, I knew you were going to call me next. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a kid in school who knows yeah, his name. I this. No. Yeah. I don't want to. Um, oh, man. You know what? I, I hate to say it because I know Joel's going to crap himself. But uh, the worst the worst product I think I ever purchased was the mesh. Um, simply because the the actual way it was intended to be used, um, I it just didn't work well. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, it didn't work well the way it was intended to be used. And for me, in the design aspect, uh, something needs to work the way it's intended before it works any other way. And as a dual core coil R as a dual, wow, the beer's getting to me as a dual <laughs> coil RDA. <laughs> um, the, it needed, it did well, it did fantastic. Um, 
but as a mesh RDA, the way they said that you had to build it and the way it was intended to be done, it just didn't work. Um, now the best, oh man, the best thing I've ever actually purchased myself. <sighs> I've purchased so much. I'm, I'm a broke, I'm broke AF. Um, I, I'm not real sure about the best thing I've ever purchased uh, myself. I've purchased a few different things that I like a lot. Um, I think the best thing I've ever had in my possession that I enjoy the most is my Dreamer mod because I designed it and I put so much into it. Shameless plug. Um, yeah, shameless plug the Lucid RDA as well, lucidrda.com. <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, uh, the best th that I've purchased that I always use and I never put down, you know what, um, there's a lot of controversy with this and I hate to say it. I'm not promoting this by any means because of how bad the business has been with the company and the company is not even in business anymore. So I wish I, so I feel like I can say this is my, uh, my hooligan mod parallel box. Um, I, honestly can say that I use it every day. It is the best mod that I've ever had. Uh, I know a lot of people had a lot of issues with Hoogan and um, I totally understand that and I don't really promote it anymore. However, it's a damn good box and I've used it every day and I love it to death and I, that's what I'm rocking right now. So it's just, that's the best thing I've ever purchased with my own money. Fair enough. By the way, I'd love, to have, I'd love to have a Titan in its place. I just haven't ever purchased one. Wait, who's who was saying something? Oh, I was just gonna say I'm I, I have completely vaped out my room. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what happens, this is what happens when I drink and I'm on a series box, you know? Oh my god. Yeah, you have. Good lord. All We're right. Quilter 30, 30 gauge aliens in here. Oh nice. Go ahead. Sorry. Quilter. Go ahead and post the link in the in the chat right now. All right, Angela, you're up. Okay, so this may come as a shock. Um, I'll go with the worst first. The worst thing that I've ever purchased that I immediately wanted my money back on was the Druga RDA. Ooh. Ooh yeah. Okay. Did not like it. It for I'm me. With you on that, um, it got extremely hot. To where it was just completely unvapable for me. Um, that is definitely my worst vape purchase. Um, I think my favorite thing, that's hard. See, this is hard. My, well, I'll go with my favorite setup, which would be my Axis M17, because love, love, love them. Um, I don't know. I'm really sad that the company's gone. I just, I love the stab wood. I love the chip. I love everything about that guy. It's very lightweight. And I'm a big fan of the original recoil. The original recipe. The OG recoil. Yes, ma'am. Love it. I, mean, I also love the OG recoil. I love it. I, I was going to say defend it, but all right. No, <laughs> I, lie to us, I, it is, I it is my daily. It is my daily. No, I know. See, look, I know. Look, look. See this metal head? This silver metal head? Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Right. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Joel, you are up. This is going to be a surprise because most people probably say he's going to say the Belize. That, I love it. Yes, it's a very... I'm going to go with the best first and then the worst last. Because I'm never going to put last before the first. But it would be the TKS Stride. Ooh. Single daily banger. Looks really Ooh, good, beautiful. and I have my favorite tank on top of it too. My favorite sub ohm tank of all time, and it's not the flow tank. Fire look mesh. It is the mesh. I absolutely love that thing because they did something that nobody else wanted to approach, which That's was mesh. Hurdy. It is my favorite of this piece with everything about me. I just absolutely love it. All right. Uh. The second, the worst piece I ever owned that I bought with my own money that really pissed me off, and it was something little that pissed me off about it. But for what I paid for it, I felt there should have been more attention to detail. 
and that would be my Snow Wolf Sith V2 limited edition. Away, it was three hundred fifty dollar, three hundred three hundred fifty dollar mod, something like that. But the serial numbers on the top plate did not match the serial number on the side. One thousand nine hundred and eighty <laughs> on the top, and serial number nine on the side of the damn mod that I just paid three hundred and fifty damn dollars for. Really? <laughs> and asked damn. him, "Can you give me an explanation for why in the hell I got this mod with one thousand whatever on the top and serial number nine on the side?" It was the total number of units that they produced, whether it be limited edition or not, that they did the serial numbers on the top plates. To me, that was an unacceptable answer. When I pay $350 for something and I request serial number nine, I want serial number nine on the top plate, the bottom plate, inside, battery sleeve, the fire button. I want number nine all over that damn thing. Number nine. Numbers matching is a huge thing also in the car and gun industry as well. Yes, that's where I get it from, the gun industry. I'm a big yeah. gun fanatic. I'm from Texas. I am too. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel you on that. Um, in the in the gun industry, when you buy a uh, like a like a classic, like a, let's let's talk about like well, this is a little tangent here, but like an AK-47, you buy a Russian Arsenal AK-47. Um, you want numbers matching because that means that all of those parts were trued and designed to go with each other. Uh, in gunsmithing, you matched all of the tolerances to go with each other and. That's why if I get a 1911 or an AR-15 or something like that, I send it off to a gunsmith, and then they true all the parts to go with each other. Um, I'm, I'm a, I used to be a competition shooter uh, back in the day. I actually used to shoot uh, – uh, I, I was – fucking hell. Um, IPSCA, um, uh, IDPA, I used to shoot in competitions, and getting those kind of things, you know, was uh, – I actually used to be an NRA-certified uh, pistol uh, marksmanship instructor. And so that, uh, that, that's, that's a thing. So Very interesting. is there anything you haven't done? <laughs> I, pull off it, man. I, 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 I get into stuff. <laughs> this is the thing. So as a currencies trader, I have a lot of free time. Uh, my average work day is about three to five hours at the most. And, uh, I, there are some work days that I've been in and out in 15 minutes. So um, I, I have a lot of free time to do stuff, and it just depends on the day, you know. And and some days I lose, some days I win, um, and it and that is what it is. And I'm I'm not trying to sound like Donald Trump here or anything like that, but some 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 days I lose and some days I win. And uh, do a Donald but, Donald Trump voice. Go ahead. <laughs> good lord. Yes, yeah, <laughs> do it. This is going to be tremendous. We're going to build a wall, and Mexico is going to pay for it. <laughs> and absolutely nothing else is going to stand in our way. We're going to take down China. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just going to stop you. I'm, I, I'm just going to stop you right there. All right. Really so, good deal. So I'm going to go with nothing but what I paid for, what I actually paid my own personal money for, not to mention anything that I got in for free for review. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the worst first, and I'm pretty sure the worst that I've ever bought was those uh, um, Blackhawk clones, the MCV Blackhawk clones, because they were, like, so far off from one-to-one. -one. Not even kidding, man. It was so far off. I actually own, you know, a, an authentic MCV Blackhawk right now. I still have it, and uh, it was so far fucking off. I'm not even joking. Um, as far as – well, the reason I hate it so much is because it literally – like the, the locking mechanism just completely broke within 24 hours. Not even 24 hours, like 12 hours. I got it in, put my tank – or put my RDA on top. I went to the bar that night, and it broke. Done. Uh, my best product, the, my favorite product that I actually purchased with my own money is my Hexome V3. Uh, granted, I paid wholesale costs for it because, you know, the, the, those guys love me. Hey, Shout out money. to Craving. But I did actually pay money for it, and uh, I think it was one of the best investments I've ever made, and I will continue to support that company forever. So they have great customer service too. That's me. 
Yeah. Can I give an honorable mention on the worst list? Sure. The uh, OG Manhattan. Really? Oh. Yeah. The old, the, old school. Like my, the very first series, man. The very first ones that come out was like my first high-end buy that I guess I get from X. It, it vented a battery and it couldn't get the damn thing out. It almost blew up on it. It was horrible, horrible. I kept it's in my vape vault. Just as a reminder. I've got some good friends cost. that love their Manhattans. So it really was a pipe bomb. Tell them I got one over here. I sell them. <laughs> I I was a, a fanatic was really of the. I was a fanatic of the Foo Hatton, the the real Foo Hattons. Foo Hatton, um, yes. Who here has vented a battery? In chat too. I want to know. Yeah, done it. Guilty, but I learned, and I've moved on. Stan Lavender. I had a. <clears throat> It was a Wismec um, Gen 2 that almost, it it was going to like vent on me because it locked up and my husband grabbed it out of my hand immediately and threw it. That was the end of that mod. <laughs> what about what about you, Stan? No, I've never been to the battery. Um, I tend not to run my batteries uh, too high amperage. Uh, I try to keep them, you know, below. I think about 0 0.12, 0 0.14 is my range that I run mech mods at, and uh, I tend to run batteries that can use that. I'm also very, very, very uh, militant about checking my wraps. So Me too. I've been, I've been lucky. I'm not saying it won't happen, but uh, I haven't done it yet. So knock on wood. Yeah. So I've, I've never vented the battery either. Granted, I've only been vaping for a year, so I'm not going to say never isn't ever. Um, I have had batteries get super, super blazing hot on me. Um, like I've had uh, two bonds get like hot to the point where I've had to put them down. But I don't run anything below 0.1 on a tube, and I know that's low for a tube either way. But uh, 0.1, 0.11 is like the lowest I'll go on a tube. And I view venting a battery the same way as I view negligent discharge on firearms. It is not a yes. matter of if, it's a matter of when. So um, I've, I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got the diligent in my thoughts. You know, you chuck it, you, you make sure to chuck it away from people and animals and anything that you don't want to be destroyed. Um, you know, and I, and I, I, I rarely run, I rarely run tubes anymore, frankly, to be honest with you. I run parallels most of the time just because the battery uh, voltage drop on tubes is just too, too much when you're below 0.12, you know, I, uh, unless it's a 2700, unless I'm running a Sanyo 2700A, um, I'm not running lower than 0.12 on a single tube anymore. And so that honestly means that I don't just generally don't run single tubes anymore. So. Oh. oh, who's um, that? I don't know what that was. Wasn't I'm here. curious. Uh, Skyler had a question in the chat, and uh, Skyler Klein said, Honest opinion, no bullshit. Should I get the RX Makina as a <laughs> sorry? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, Demo? Why don't you go hey, sing some opera? Texas on your shoulders, brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> bite um <laughs> as my 2700 mech i think it's beautiful never owned a wisp mech mech i'm curious about y'all's opinions on that mech. what do y'all think oh my god <laughs> Dino. it's Dino, a wise about mech to you. machina sorry. okay sorry sorry it's not machina god damn it it's machina damn it shut i'm getting face. rowdy i've had too much beer uh me too i can't wait till we all hang out together one day all right, I'm gonna drink lots of beer with. So Timo. I'm gonna I'm gonna start because I've used mine very much. I've, I've, I've used it a lot. I have an opinion as well. All right, so I really do like the RX Machina. I I really think it's a good product. The the atomizer that they offer with it is garbage, in my opinion. I mean, Wismic is not good at making anything that atomizes anything. Period, in my opinion. Agreed. <laughs> the 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 what is it? The guillotine RDA. Mm, just can't get into it. A couple people liked it. A couple people raved about it. But me, nah, nah, I just don't like it. Uh, and their tanks. I've never been a fan of their tanks. 
but as far as the mod itself, this this piece of machinery right here, I think it's really good. Uh, I especially like it because it's not a hybrid. It's a very different style mech mod. So you can run a tank on top of this completely safe. No problem whatsoever. In fact, the Kylan is a very good match for the RX Machina if you want to run a tank on top of it. If not, the... Uh, the Recoil Rebel is a very good match if you want to run a dripper on it. Just saying. I know Demo is going to have an opinion on that. I can see him no, smirking no, up no. there. It's it's fine. If if look, I didn't like it, but you know what? Um, my recommendation, your recommendation, and my recommendation are different. So, it, I mean, that's why we have a panel of reviewers right here. Yeah. You know, I'm the only one. But they're both here. respected. Yeah, well, right. Yeah, so you know, go ahead and get one. Try it out. It's sixty bucks, but you know, it's uh, well, it's sixty bucks for the kit. It's only like thirty or forty for just. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying for uh, for the Recoil Rebel, it's, right. oh, it's okay. like sixty bucks. So I mean, yeah. you know, there might be cheaper RDAs that you could go with for that, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's certainly a well regarded RDA, despite me not liking it. So you know, getting getting back on topic. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I believe Stan had an opinion. Oh, I, I my opinion is opposite of yours, man. Um, I have this mod, the RX Machina. Machina. Um, I don't. Uh, it's you know, Wismec has actually had some decent stuff, in my opinion. Um, they had that. What's that series RDA they had called? Um. Come on, guys. The Somebody give me a hint. No. No. Series okay. RDA? Indestructible? Yeah, the Indestructible. That was a great RDA, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it, was really, it was really cool the way they did it. Uh, I thought it was, uh, design-wise, it was a really cool design and pretty innovative, in my opinion. I'm going to say in my opinion 50,000 times because I'm <laughs> halfway drunk. Because that totally, um, like, it escapes you from, like, having any sort of responsibility for your actions. Hey, hey, hey you shut your face. Um, Go on. <laughs> it's um, like Rip Trippers was a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Oh yeah, this was sponsored, but uh, everything is in my opinion. Hey, if you're not, if you're not, I nice, don't like the color. Right. In my opinion, if you're not, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. This is all Your subjective. background. What is that? A this fucking is... shower curtain behind you, Stan? This is all subjective. No, my this opinion. is a sheet. Ooh. This is not a shower curtain. This is my bed sheet. Demo's getting. Like... I take it down at night and I put it on my. We're getting bed rowdy. I cuddle all in it. Um, no, um, I don't like the way it fits batteries. Um, I don't feel like it's very conductive. Uh, it, it hits okay. I mean, I, I don't, it's just not all the mech mods that I've had. You guys, if you've subscribed to me or you followed me on anything, you, you understand and you've seen the mech mods that I, I keep in my arsenal. I've got a lot and, uh, this does not for for the amount that you pay for it what is 30 or 40 bucks just for the mod there's other mods out there at that cost or slightly more expensive that i would rather get than this wismec in my opinion in my opinion um my could, opinion. would you care to you know tell people about those mods yeah sure why not um the tsunami mech would be one of them that i would rather have than this wisp mech um the dreamer mod <laughs> <laughs> ah shameless plug. shameless plug dreamer mod by two hashtag get me also now <laughs> <Get muted. laughs> dreamer mod, you're gonna spend uh the amount you can pay for uh two of these with mech mods on the dreamer mod but you know you'd be getting an amazing mod um <laughs> The, actually, you know what? The iJoy 2700 mech. The, uh, I'm sorry, the 270 that they had come out with the kit. The the RDA that came yep. with the kit of the iJoy 270 was absolute junk. In the penis but, kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a penis, man. It looks like a gold penis. Uh, that went clean crazy. over my head. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> the iJoy 270, it comes with a battery. It's at the same price point. It's a 2700 mod, and I think it comes with a uh, 18650 adapter. So that would be another mod that I would get instead of the Wismec. And I don't think it got enough love. 
So Skylar asks, well, could could we recommend a 2700 though? Um, in my opinion, 2700 mech, uh, Kennedy all day, dude. Roundhouse. Skylar, are you talking about the battery or the that's uh, pricey, man? The mod. That's that's a good question. Thirty percent off right now on KennedyVapor.com. Use a well, code. I like, code. I like the uh, I like the broad or not the broadside. The Admiral. I'm, I'm an Admiral guy. I like the Admiral. I also like the what is it? The Outcast. The 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 rig mod. Descendant. There's the Outcast. I think as well. Or is it the Outcast or is it something else? I think you're right. I, okay. What kind of price it's point? Too are we late to even. Well, okay, so yeah, we're 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 pushing we're pushing expensive, right? So like, we're for the rig, we're talking about you know, well into the 190 more or so. Um, for if you if you're talking about the broadside, we're talking about one. Oh Jesus, you know what? I, I'm I'm gonna stop talking because I just don't know. Okay, Sorry. if you're talking, if you're talking <laughs> about like it depends on your price point you're talking about. Yeah, um, that, that really does matter. The Admiral is a fantastic 2700 mech, in my opinion. However, it does not like thick battery wraps. Yes, yes, I agree. It doesn't like them thick. Your, it doesn't like them thick. Um, mm. And you know what? You guys are going to call me biased. Sorry, guys. You guys are going to call me biased all day long, and I know nobody on the panel here has tried it. But the the Dreamer is a fantastic twenty seven hundred mech. I'm sorry, it just send me it, send me a Dreamer. I'll review it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really is. Um, the the mine, the purge yeah. truck, the purge truck is going to be super expensive, but it is a fantastic twenty seven hundred mech mod. Um, if you want a beginner, like really cheap starter mech, the two seventy by iJoy. Um, I mean, twenty seven hundred is my battery. It, it, mech mods are my thing um and you know it depends on your price point it depends on whether or not you like hybrid connections and uh you know it depends on the material you like honestly well i was gonna say we've got uh, mike's mech reviews also seconding your purge truck uh recommendation uh joshua says l thunder that is not a 2700 though so but uh, I also like the L Thunder for 18650 mech stuff. The L Thunder is my favorite 18650 mech. Um, no, honestly, I would guys, look into an 1111. That I owned right. and purchased was the V1. Which one? Uh, the Paragon V1. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't owned a mech since. Can I can I just say that we've been streaming now for about two hours. We've got about fifty people watching, and we just got our first down vote. <laughs> hey. hey. Well, speaking of that, I, like I have this. to go. I have to go relieve myself, so I'll be I'll be back very shortly. Oh, you wuss! Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hey guys, I have a question for you. We can come back to demo vapes last, so you can go take care of what you okay. need. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be back in a moment. I would like to ask the panel, what is the best and worst concert you've ever been to? Yeah, and you got to oh. be careful here, guys, because uh, she could put this in a magazine. Do it. I don't care. All right. We'll start with uh <laughs> with Stan here. Oh, best concert <laughs> and worst concert. <laughs> <laughs> the best con well we already we already touched on this earlier Cody Camry is my absolute favorite band and uh i almost i knew I, I liked you for a reason i almost lost three ribs at a coheed and camry concert pressed up against the cage because i have a healthy man crush on claudio sanchez and uh push my way to the gay. push my yeah right. Push my way to the very front. gay. We're pulling your Texas card. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Push my way to the front. Um, they started off the set with "Raise your hands high," and I was just like, "Oh man!" I was easy kind of like out there mind state and uh, state of mind, and I just I absolutely had a ball. That that concert tied with where we live is a really really bad concert hall that's outdoors called cynthia woods and uh there's a huge hill in the lawn okay and if it's wet at all 
it gets muddy. And one of the first shows I ever went to by myself was kind of a uh, mix and mash concert, like one of the radio stations put on. But the only band I remember is Offspring. (laughs) Yeah. And I was rocking Offspring on the lawn and uh, got completely clotheslined and laid out and slide on my back down the dang, down the hill in the mud. And uh, that was, that was a great show as well. The worst show I've ever seen. Man, I love shows so much. I have such a good time at shows. Um, oh, there's another fantastic show I went to. P.O.D. In, in Austin and Tenacious D. in Austin. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're blowing his mind shows. right now. Both those shows were made. You guys don't even know. Like, I went to school for audio engineering. I went to school for studio recording before I got into design and computer drafting. What a cool show. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Did you go to full sale? No, I don't know what that is. Full sale. Did you go to full sale? <laughs> no, I didn't. But uh, uh, I went to uh, I went to school for audio engineering, and so I went to a lot of live shows. I did a lot of live recording and stuff like that, and uh, I I really had some good shows. As far as bad shows, I can't really can't really remember any bad shows. I'm sorry. I don't have a. I don't have an answer for bad shows. If I come up with something, I'll let you know. They're okay. all good. All right, Joel. Uh, Joel? You want to you host? Kind of his. No, oh, no, no. I was just. <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Kind of in his boat. I don't have any bad experiences at concerts. Uh, little known fact: I was a radio DJ for many, many, many years. Cool. Awesome. Typically, got to be on stage with some of the greatest acts and performers I've ever known, and grew up on bone thugs and harmony is probably my most yeah. memorable one whoa that's awesome Getting to watch them on their 20th anniversary was very very meaningful to me and those guys was just I'll never ever 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 forget meeting little wayne was really really cool the whole T Pain movement. I guess you gotta get no kind of radio station I worked at by now. <laughs> but really <laughs> I have no bad concert experiences at all. They were all phenomenal. I got to see things that most people only get to dream about. So very fortunate for that. Oh, hello. The concert <laughs> would be zero. Right. Scheduled to come on at 11 and filled up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, that was a bad concert, I guess. There was one, but I had a good time waiting for him. There you go. <laughs> All right, Demo, best and worst concert you ever attended. So I put my I put my painting back up. Hey, yeah, there it is. So that's hey, the there you go. Hey, um, is that the same face you make when you're uh, you got your knee pads out? No. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Sorry. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, best concert I ever went to was and not a whole lot of people will be able to identify with this i don't think but would be i went to a recital with art songs with a opera artist uh named jonas kaufmann he's a german opera artist and i won't bore you with the details but basically he was the only concert that i've ever been on the edge of my seat aware that i wasn't breathing the entire concert, right? Like he, he had me so enraptured in the music that I realized midway through the performance that I really wasn't breathing during the songs because I started getting all lightheaded. And, um, that, that was the best concert I've ever been to. Now the worst concert I've ever been to. Well, okay. So the worst concert I've ever been to was when I was like younger, I probably was like 16 or 17. I went with my parents to a jazz pianist's concert named Chick Corea. And it was just crap. It was just total crap. It was all freeform bullshit. And all of the other musicians were not in sync with each other. And it was just not good, right? It was not, it was not, it was not good, right? Like it was, it was just, I remember we left after probably 45 minutes of, of the, of the show and we were like, nah, this is bullshit. So um, that was probably the worst concert I've ever been to. Now, the worst experience I ever had was at a concert at a concert was at Coheed and Cambria. Now, wait, 
It was not because of the the music though. It was because of the, no, 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 no. It was because <laughs> I did not have my orthotics at the time and I couldn't stand and it was standing room only. So I had to literally sit in the back of first Avenue against like a windowsill and I couldn't even see the band. So it was, it was my worst experience at a concert because it was a concert I was actually excited to go to, but I couldn't experience it because I was in so much pain. So that's terrible, man. Like I hate it was, to hear that. It was awful. It was terrible. I waited in line for like two and a half hours to get in and all that kind of stuff. And it was just bad. All right. Well, thank you for sharing that demo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, You're up. Best and worst. So I, I have a couple things, right? Like I have one concert that's it's kind of both at the same time, like best and worst, because <clears throat> I had some really good luck with this one because like a uh, Vans Warp tour came around to a town that was actually like really close to me, which is uh, Northampton, Massachusetts. Uh, shout out uh, Northampton, Massachusetts. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> 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 so the, the Vans Warped Tour came around, and it was in 2005, the year I graduated high school. So now you know exactly how old I am. Uh, but the it rained the day before and a little bit on the day of. So it was really muddy. Uh, so the overall experience was like, you know, trumping through mud and just kind of like, oh, nasty, gross weather, just ugh. But it ended up being a total win for me because I got to experience some of my favorite bands at the time. Like, I love, uh, you know, Reggie and the Full Effect. And, oh, that's uh, awesome. I, I love Dropkick Murphys. I got to see them live. I got to see uh, uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I got to see Fallout Boy. You know, like in 2005, like I was all about that life. And uh, I got to see them all live in the same day, which was fucking epic. Uh, and I ruined my my Vans slip-ons. I had Vans slip-ons at the time, the black and white checks, you know. The, the Spicoli's. The yeah. No, uh, the Spicoli's. <laughs> Spicoli's, I think, were the red and white checks. If no, we're... they're black and white. No, are they black, black and white? white? They're black okay. and white. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I, so I ruined those, destroyed them beyond recognition. However... I was really good friends with a guy that owned the skate shop in my local area, which just so happened to sponsor a tent that was right next to the main stage or stages. Cause there was two like main stages. So, uh, before fallout boy and, uh, Avenged sevenfold and all that came on, I went over to the tent and I said, Hey, I need some shoes. Do you have, uh, you know, slip ons and 11 and a half. And they did. They had red and white check van slip-ons, 11 and a halfs. And I said, hey, can you like hold on to them until after you know the show, until I'm ready to go home? They're like, yeah, no problem. You know, They knew who I was and everything. So I, I paid for them. Uh, I paid like 40 bucks, which is pretty darn cheap you know, for slip-ons. I, I watched the whole concert. I watched the shows and all that. And I had my fun. On my way out the door, I picked up my shoes, walked out to the car, slipped off my old slip-ons, slipped on the new ones, and drove home. And that was, like, epic. So it was, like, both bad and good at the same time. Overall, I'd say a more positive experience. But uh, I think one of the most, like, epic moments I've ever had at a concert, like, just, like, the most surreal concert I've ever experienced was probably, I don't know, I've seen Coheed twice. Uh, and that was that was awesome. Both times was really epic. Uh, I saw I saw uh, Coheed with Clutch. That was a pretty good oh, show. Yeah. Oh, that was a oh, really good show. That would be great. Yeah, really good show. And it was before I really got into Clutch. And now that I know more about him, I like wish I could go back. But you know, I I still was like front row, fucking center for that show, which was really good. Uh, but I, I, I can't think of a, a terrible experience. I've had so many like really good experiences with, at shows. Um, I mean, I got punched in the face a lot when I was in the pit and all that. But, <laughs> yeah. but I, I, I look at that like a positive almost because like it was just part of the experience. So I, I, I hate to be I've this guy, so but crazy show like stories like you, you guys just, like 
it's nuts. I just really don't have like a negative outlook on shows. I've I've gotten so many great opportunities at at these shows. I've seen so many bands. I, I got to witness, you know, some of the the rock legends come together on one stage and do like covers at at Foxborough Stadium, which I know you guys probably hate me for, but you know, Foxborough. <laughs> Tom Patriots. Brady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hate all you want, but um, yeah, I got to experience that live. Which, I mean, you're talking like a, a menagerie of like guys from Dream Theater and Sepultura and Megadeth and all these That's like so cool. fucking rock legends. I got to hang out with those guys because like my my buddy was a photographer for a couple of metal magazines and uh, I was his assistant for many a year. And uh, that show was just cool. I got to meet uh, Metalocalypse, the cast oh, of Metalocalypse. Nice. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's hilarious. So, I mean, like I really don't have a, a really bad show. Like, I don't know. It's, it, it's hard to like pick out one that was terrible. I mean, I, I worked, I worked, I say worked <clears throat> in a very loose sense of the word because uh, I, I would basically stand backstage hanging on to lights or a gear bag or whatever. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I, I worked those events, but I still got to experience backstage and I got to meet people like uh, Andrew W.K. and... Uh, I have the biggest crush on Andrew W.K. He's the nicest oh, guy. He's he is, the nicest dude. guy in the world. Seriously. Just, I love him. He's amazing. The, in, and bands like uh, A Day to Remember and The Devil Wears Prada and Sky Eats Airplane and just all these epic bands. I got to meet Davey Havoc backstage. Um, so I don't know. I really can't even say I had a bad experience with uh, any single concert that i ever went to have you guys ever heard of a band called darwin's waiting room no <laughs> no no i'm just curious i'm just curious like i went and saw helmet one time and uh i saw helmet and the band played right after them was called darwin's waiting room and it was i mean it was amazing yeah, that was the time that was in the mid 2000s when uh, uh incubus was big and you know that whole kind of vocal singing slash kind of talk rapping thing was a thing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and oh, yeah. I I hung out <laughs> with the band after, after their show. My buddy was a promoter and we got on their bus and we're hanging out partying on their tour bus. And there's this huge neon pink flamingo on the back. Like in the back, like you get in the bus and you're walking towards the back and there's this huge neon pink flamingo. And I'm like, what the hell is with this pink flamingo? You guys are like these hardcore rocker type dudes. And there's all these like pink flamingos and everything all over this bus. What's that question mark for Daily Babe TV? Uh, you and, had a question uh, in chat. Oh. Um, if you had and, two uh, dreamers. Okay. Well, we found out that... Uh, I found out that it was Gloria Estefan's tour bus before we got a hold of it. <laughs> oh my Gloria God. Esteban. Glor yeah, Glo yeah Estefan? it was hilarious. Estefan? Estefan? Gloria Estefan. Oh, okay. Right. Go to bed, Demo. It was great. Oh. Was great. That and, uh, and you said Vans Warped Tour, and I watched the lead singer of uh, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones jump off stage and grab a guy by the collar and tell him he was going to whoop his ass and he threw another beer bottle. <laughs> Warp Tour. That was so cool. But what's the question you were talking about? I didn't see it. Uh, let's see. Uh, TC. Yeah, it said if Stan, if you could, uh, if you had two dreamers, could you stack them? If you had two dreamers, you cannot stack them. There is not a stack section with male threads. Male threads. Yeah, because the um the tube ha has female threads on both sides. The tube has female threads. Yes. <laughs> don't don't ask me so why they're gender. called male and female. <laughs> Just how it goes, man. <laughs> I think oh. my worst concert. <laughs> yeah, let's hear uh, yours. Lavender. So 
I'm going to, I'm going to date myself a little bit, but that's okay. Right. It's all good here. We're all vapors. Um, where I live, the toadies are local or we're a local band at this time. So we're going to go way back. And at the venue that they were playing at, it was completely packed that night full of people. And that day I had just bought my, uh, myself a brand new pair of Doc Martin boots. I was all excited back in the nineties. Oh, snap. Oh yeah. And Friends is your favorite show. No. <laughs> <laughs> and there were so many people just, I mean, we were shoulder to shoulder. It was awful. Um, I proceeded to throw up all over my brand new pair of Doc Martin boots. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. that was my worst concert experience. Wow. So that was, that was, that, that, that really sucked. I was really embarrassed and was covered in puke. What about the best though? The best is that's hard. I've seen a lot of really, really good bands. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the, Bands that I've seen now, members of past, like Typo Negative. I'm a huge Typo Negative fan. Um, uh, I love Marilyn Manson. I love Rush. Yes, I'm a woman who loves the band Rush. Love them. Um, let's see. Rush I met, I met um, Johnny Ramone when I was 15 years old. And that was, that was incredible. Because he was just walking around in the audience and no one really took note of the chili bowl haircut. And I walked right over to him and talked to him. And he was, I understand why when he died, people were upset because he generally was the nicest guy in the world. He was amazing. So yeah, love Ozfest, you know, first one. You know, I got to meet, you know, this is a bit off topic, but I, I got to meet Alice Cooper one time. Oh, how was that? <laughs> That's awesome. He's so nice, man. I mean, I met him obviously past his prime, but I mean, he is super nice. Uh, I was doing a, uh, I was assisting with a photo shoot again at a very small kind of local venue uh, but he was the nicest guy. Like he was just this, this kind of like gentle older guy. And, you know, he, he, I learned a lot, you know, in that little time frame that we had doing the photo shoot, like he has three leather jackets that he uses on stage. He has the very light one, which is what he rocks like during the concert, you know, very lightweight, easy to maneuver and, you know, easy to like, take on and off for different costume changes. He has a medium weight one, which he uses for like close up appearances. And then he has like a heavyweight one, which is like full real leather, real studs and everything, which he uses for photo shoots. So we were basically like, take a couple of pictures, take the jacket off, put the jacket back on, take a couple of pictures. <laughs> like this was like, you know, a, only a couple of years ago. Uh, but we met uh, his snake. He brought his snake out, which is cool. I, oh, I got really? to like, yeah. Did you pet his snake? I know that sounds weird, but uh, yeah, I uh, got to meet Alice Cooper's snake. It's That's really cool. Rock star. That's very cool. Very cool story. <laughs> very interesting. I saw Alice Cooper on a on a interview for Top Gear. If any of you watch Top Gear, oh yeah. Well, back like like back when it was Top Gear UK with Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond, James. Yes, Clarkson, right. I saw him in an interview with that, and he was just the nicest guy on that. And I was just like, you know, like it's it's funny how you see these people in their in their in their environments, right? You know, Alice Cooper and stuff like that in his rock environment. Then you see him in a in an interview with his uh, you know with his veneers, and he's smiling and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, and he's just a normal guy. So it's, 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 it's cool to see people out of their, you know, their, their element. And I think that's why a lot of people watch us in live stream too. You know what I mean? Like, like, uh, you know, they see us in our manicured, 
review video form and stuff. You're getting like all that. meta on us now. I am. I, I, I know. <laughs> but uh, you know, they see us all in our manicured, uh, you know, video form. I, I have jump cuts like crazy in my videos and stuff like that. But uh, you know, that's why that's why people watch us in. Uh, you know, <laughs> you chuckalockers. <laughs> Uh, no yeah no i i agree with you there um you know i feel like that's why i like doing these live streams because again i i know i've mentioned this already in this very stream but uh you get to see us in our very rawest form yes uh i would never be drunk completely uncensored completely drunk you know this is the last of tonight's beer yeah i'm down to half a glass (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm on a full glass, but this is after a 750 and two nine point two percent beers. So yeah, chug the whole thing right now. Ready, go. Don't do don't do that. You're gonna no. try to kill Demo vapes on camera. Do it, Demo. Well, come on, I'll, I'll go with you one if you want do to. It. I, do I am it, not Demo. going to. It would be it would just be unpleasant, man. It Joel, would just be it, unpleasant, Demo. Man. Demo, I'll do it if you do it. Joel, just get in the bathtub. <laughs> What, what, you have what half a beer there? Hmm? What? You have no, half a beer. Full beer. So what? He this can't tell. Twi- twice as heavy as yours. I I can't. No, dude. This is this is a nine point two percent. This is this is not. This is no joke. That's the equivalent like of two. Oh, Scary money never makes All right, money. No more dick measuring. <sighs> Good lord. Look, okay, fine. A whole, I got a whole six pack. Well, that's only four in there. But yeah. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. No. Oh. See, see what happens. You see what happens. Oh, see, see that's why me and Demo need to get drunk together. Oh, I poke, I poke, and and he does. See? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Demo, you ready? Here we go. It's only half a beer, but can we get l- some likes right now? <laughs> some likes for beer chugging. All right, ready? Ugh. Here we go. Present him. No, no, too Are late. Gone, bro. It's already gone. I told you, man. I could, I could destroy you in beer chugging, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, this, is me. this is me making my Alice Cooper face. <laughs> Stan, Stan, uh, you need to come to ECC. I think we should all meet up at ECC. I need to go to bed. That's <laughs> <laughs> only 120. What are you talking about? Can we meet up in bed? <laughs> What? Yes. Uh, it's two twenty <laughs> here, there, Angela. Just saying. Yeah, I'm tired as hell. I'm beat. It's fre- It's past Fresh Build Friday. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 for me, it's vlog recording day. So now it's, it's gonna... shit talking Saturday. So Excuse that's me. okay. <laughs> and FYI, for anyone that's interested, there will be beer during my 2017 best of vlog. Because of course. By the way, um, Daily Vape TV, Mr. Nick, I am pretty sure that I will be in the UK in October. Nice. I'm gonna try to be. I have no like I I, I haven't planned that far ahead, but I yeah I know yeah. I tried to uh, I tried getting with like doing the what we talked about and uh, it was a no go. So I think the best I can do is October for UK. No ECC uh, or or uh, vape showcase, uh, St. Louis rooming yeah, situations. Dude, y'all Stuff. need to come up to my neck of the woods. Oh, I love Stuff Fox in the West. US is a different story. I'll try to get wherever I can in the U.S. Uh, Yo, come up near me, all right? Like, there's one in March. Ooh, uh, Fox Woods, about, right? Yeah, Foxwoods. It's about maybe an hour away from Boston. Beautiful but, place. I love Boston. What, what is Fox, Foxwoods? Is where you live, Dick? Oh, that's a casino. It's an hour away from me, but yeah, it's pretty. Wait, damn close. When Dick. is when is that event? He did he did call me Dick? It's <laughs> March, isn't it? Well, excuse me, I just chugged a nine point two percent IPA. Called you Dick, man. Help this guy from the line. What's what a disrespectful ass. <laughs> what uh, what is that event, Nick? Uh, it's uh, National Vape Expo, NVE. When? Uh, is that March? March, March, yeah. March when? Like spring breakish? God damn it! You need, you need to give me this information. Somebody Google right. it. 
Boop. Sure. Jeez, Just, Demo. What, what is this? Like, you want us to like set your whole you, schedule wait, right now? Wait, no, no, he doesn't want to Google it because he's got a mechanical keyboard. It's going to sound like keyboard. Okay, cat. Let me just. I sound like someone from the 19th, I think. March 19th. I sound like someone from the 80s, you know? Wendy in chat says Detroit in April. April's tough. April is also Midwest Vape Expo. Oh. March 17th to 18th. Boom. Thank you. You're very welcome. So as of right now, confirmed uh, National Vape Expo, obviously, and I have already announced that I'll be at uh, St. Louis. What? So, Man, I want to go to that show. Yeah. Uh, St. Oh, Louis is very I was muted. Um, yeah, so this, Sam, this, we should go. This is my 1980s keyboard. Hey, why don't you put your little uh, Mac 12 down? Oh, apparently it auto-mutes me when I, when I hit the keyboard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> or or someone else is muting me. That's hey, the power Demo. console. Demo, make that face that you're making in the picture behind you. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Ah, no, present him so we can screenshot it. Quick. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone's got enough dirt on everyone else tonight oh, to make it. I'm out of beer. Sorry, so, sorry uh, guys. I ended up getting quite a lot more drunk than I anticipated that I would be tonight. So apologies right. if anybody got All right. Listen. No, hell no. You told me not to apologize for me being me. You don't apologize Yay. for you being me. All right, everyone. Shut your face. Listen, we're going to end the stream. Everyone no. say, say their good nights. Demo, go. No. You... All right. Good night, guys. Um, please take a minute to, if you enjoyed the stream and you enjoyed my presentations, please take a minute to uh, subscribe to Demo Vapes on YouTube and uh, Demo underscore Vapes at Demo underscore Vapes on Instagram. Also on Twitter, at Demo Vapes uh, on Twitter. Um, I also have a Facebook group, um, which I will link after I get done presenting here. Um, just just take a, take a second to join that. We've, we've got a good little community going. We're nothing like uh, Daily Vape TV's community here, but uh, you know, we've you got, got more we've than got, me, like, bro. We've got, no, 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 no. You have way more than me on, 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 uh, on uh, Facebook. We've, we've got just under a hundred members on, on our Facebook group, but do, yeah, just, just take a minute to join, take a minute to subscribe. Um, I don't post as often as I'd like to. I've got a, I've got a job that uh, kind of prevents me from uh, taking the time to, post as often as I'd like to, but you know, just take, take a minute to subscribe. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. So anyway, have a great night, everyone. Wait, I'm answering uh, chat. All right. Uh, yeah. Stan. Hey, it's me. Hey, uh, you know what? I appreciate you. Daily vape TV, Mr. Nick Bassett. Um, anytime you want me to drink beer on your channel, I will gladly oblige. Um, just wanted to tell you guys, Tenacious TX Vapes on YouTube. Check it out. Um, there's all kinds of ridiculousness on there. Also, Tenacious TX Vapes on Instagram and the Tenacious TX Vapes page on Facebook. Go check it out. Little tidbits about me here and there. Um, a lot of the stuff from Instagram gets reposted, but a little bit of things happen on Facebook that don't happen Ooh. on Instagram. So check it out. Who just burped, man? So <laughs> um, no, give, him, give him the coupon code. Oh, yeah. Check out lucidrda.com. I haven't been vaping on it tonight because it needs a rewick, but the Lucid RDA. Mm. Oh, the Lucid RDA and the Dreamer Mod. Here. Soon to be feature on my channel. The Dreamer Mod. Stainless steel mods will be available on lucidrda.com this week uh, in polished and brushed. Um, code right now through Christmas is Vapemas, V-A-P-E-M-A-S, for 10% off and free shipping. You can't get a better deal than the Lucid Dreamer combo. Um, so hit that up, and I appreciate you guys. Ah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Vape on. That's how it goes. Damn, right. I wish I muted you. <laughs> <laughs> Lavender Vape. Lee. Vape on. Um, Vape you can follow on. my misadventures in vaping at my blog at lavenderlee.weebly.com. And also I'm on Instagram at Lavender in the Clouds. It, see, if you... That's all I got. If you participate and pick up Vape News Magazine, 
Tell them about your Facebook group. Just put like a little hi in chat right now. And I'll make you a mod so you can post a link. Okay. Okay, just say hi. Okay. Are you doing it? I am. All right. As my I'm husband. Oh, oh that, <laughs> that was you? All yeah, right. it's All me. Right. All right, so I'll make, I'll, I'll make Nick uh, a mod here. Add. There we go. All right, post your links. Okay. And then I'll <laughs> present Joel. Joel, Pinoy, go for Pinoy it. is trying to get a, a wrench. <laughs> oh, Pinoy is about to get banned because Nightbot's on the case. Joel, Fuck go ahead. Night. Fuck Daily. Nightbot. Daily Vapes, Nick. Thank you, brother, for having me. <laughs> Tenacious. Always a pleasure being with you, my friend. Demo, man, you earned a shit ton of points for me tonight. Miss Lavender Lee, it's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Shout out to you, Joel. Uh, Bump that fist. Yes, I was doing the microphone, guys. I say no, I had too much yeah. to drink. Bump. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look me up, man. YouTube, vaping with Mr. Just Right One. Instagram is Mr. Just Right One. Facebook, you can find me anywhere. Just put the hashtag uh, Just Right Christmas. One of the biggest and, things uh, giving back to the vapors of this community. Joel, cheers to you, so brother. Cheers to you. Uh, I don't know if I added you as a mod yet on my uh, channel. So if you just type like hi or something in chat right now, I will add you as a mod and you can post all the links you want. On it right now. See, I'm, I'm doing my best to be a, a good host here. Nick, you're, you're a great a host. Thank you for putting up with us. We're <laughs> like a barrel of monkeys, but you guys were awesome tonight. I was <laughs> that. Nick, can I be honest though? Shoot. Can I be honest? All right, you, you can't do the earwax mustache no more. No. Oh. <laughs> See, I disagree. I like the wax mustache. I, I like the staff. Just, Keep it. I like it. I'm just joking, man. Do you, man? I was just wanted to give you shit about something. I was I'll searching. Get. So, you know, I, th well, I, th I think if you kept growing it, you could rock the curl, man. You could rock it up and over. Uh, it's it's kind of drooping. Well, right. You, kind of... you need some mustache wax, dude. You, uh, yeah. you said earlier you got hair wax. You got to get some mustache wax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I, I, used to, I, I used to have a mustache. I used to have a mustache and no beard, and I had the wax that, that curled up and over. And uh, uh, Mr. JLVC another Savs uh, co-host has just joined us. He just woke up and his Who's links, that? his links are not working because he apparently doesn't know how to type this early in the morning over there in the UK. It's 7 30 AM. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to quickly present myself. Then we're going to sign out. Uh, boom. All right. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and dealing Nick, with all of our bullshit. <laughs> you're beautiful. Yes. Nick. Yes, thank you Nick, for my. I love your mustache. Thank you for dealing with my drunken craziness. I just you're beautiful, uh, Nick. It was my pleasure. Now shut uh, up. Demo, sing us a song. <laughs> sing it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh God, now he's getting on about me. Um, I, I want to thank you guys from all across the fucking globe for hanging out with us tonight. We have people from literally all over the world uh, hanging out. So seriously, thank you guys so much bump for chilling with us. Bump that fist. Bump, bump that fist, bro. Bump, bump no, all I can't. the fists. Bump I can't do that. You're you're not bump presented, so you, they bump. can't see. That's you. okay. We're all Whatever. we're, we're fist, all bumping the fist, man. Doesn't we're all bumping matter. fist. Bump That's, the fist. Yeah. All right, bump there it. There you go. Bump. Check bump out. Bump. Check bump out those knucks. Bump the fist. Yeah. I just bumped my computer screen. <laughs> so once again, thank you guys so so much for hanging out. Don't forget to join the Daily Vape TV Cloud Crew group on Facebook. It's a lot of fun, and we just like to hang out and talk and just post hand checks and cloud checks and whatever else. So, you know, from across the globe, thank you guys so much once again for hanging out with us. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this video on your way out when the uh, replay goes live. Don't forget to also just drop a comment. Be like hashtag hashtag I was there for this because that, this, is, this is a momentous occasion. Uh, what about what about uh, on the Tenacious TX Vapes channel? Uh, vapes do it Friday night at nine p.m. 
Yeah, yeah. Make sure Central. you check out uh, Ever. Tenacious right. Texas Vapes. I'll, I'll drop links in the in the uh, description below after this video goes live. Obviously, uh, of everyone that was involved in tonight's show. But uh, <laughs> until then, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out again for like the ninth time. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and be safe out there. And as always, vape on. Oh, come on. Do it right. Do it right. Do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs>